Good evening and welcome. So it is time for a new release. Tectonica is almost upon us. Well, it's upon me. Um, Tectonica is releasing on the 18th of July and it's on Steam. I think it's also on Game Pass. So that's pretty cool for the people doing that thing. I think actually I'm paying for like Game Pass Ultimate or something for my son. So who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, so uh, I managed to get my grubby little mitts on uh, on a copy, thanks to the developers at Firehose Games. And uh, been playing it a little bit over the last few days, but I just came back from vacation, so I haven't had much time. So no mega factories or anything like that yet. I am... Uh, I've released a video on YouTube for the first part, uh, the first zone, and it's doing quite well, which is nice. Uh, was it only a demo release? Uh, I think it was the alpha release. I think there was an alpha and then a demo and then there's this. I think so, but I'm not really sure. Um, this should be the whole game and I am allowed to show you most of it. So I have some instructions that uh, if I see this, this is as far as I'm allowed to show. But I hope that we're not going to get there in the next couple of days. Um, so my plan is streaming it uh, today, tomorrow, and the day after. Then uh, I'll be releasing some YouTube videos, depending on interest, probably. Uh, your intro video has most views of the three that's been posted today. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. As soon as Kibitz gets uh, his gets around to making one, then that'll be 100,000 views in 24 hours. So, you know. And then if... Uh, if um, if let's game it out, then it's a million views in 24 hours. And I can be like, yay, 10,000 views. Woohoo. But, you know, that's kind of how it is. It's uh, I do my thing. Um, I was about to say I do it well, but I don't. But that's another matter. Anyway, it's nice to have a uh, um, have a video that uh, works. This for this one, as I have Game Pass, so for once I can join in. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think Game Pass is an incredibly good deal. And for all the... Basically, when Epic Store launched and being like an alternative to Steam, and then it was like, but they do the same thing. If In order to compete against Steam, you have to do something different. If you just do the same thing, then Steam has all the market share. But Microsoft is like, oh, you just play a flat fee and you get access to all these cool games. That is an incredible deal. And for indie developers, it is also, I'm, I would imagine, an incredible deal. Sure, you don't get as much value from it, but you reach a ridiculously large uh, audience that you wouldn't be able to get. So if you, it's really good for, um, for good games. Like if if games that become sort of a a success, if they if people just play it, then that's going to be uh, working, right? That that's uh. Yeah, I think that's going to work really well. Um, because a game like Tectonica is not really... They're not paying for any uh, advertisement. At least not to, to this streamer. And therefore, it's going to be hard for them to sort of reach a l large audience. Interestingly enough, like... Um, Astro Colony paid for advertisement and that worked really well. Uh, remember the train game that I got angry at Epic? That is all over my Twitter feed and I think also Reddit actually. Uh, what was it called? Train... train... Rail... Railgrade. Yes, Railgrade. So that's also like a small game. It's a, it's a nice game. But that has gotten like premium promotion because Epic is the publisher of it. So, you know, if you can't afford or don't prioritize advertising, you need to sort of get the word of mouth and then... I would hope that there's something, I don't know how it works, but I would imagine that it's something like Spotify and YouTube Premium, like the pot of gold that is Microsoft Game Pass gets then split out depending on how uh, how much people are playing the different games. Uh, I thought I like, well, I, I liked it. It was, it was okay. It wasn't kind of, I thought it was like a big factory game that you could just, play big factory game things and uh, make a big factory, but it isn't, it's a puzzle game. Uh, he uh, sort of constrained as a, or, or sort of packaged as a train game. So 
it, it's you get a setting and you have to figure out what the theme of this is but then you just figure it out and then you move on to the next mission it's a little bit a little bit of a different feel so kids find games other than oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my kid find other games of fortnite yep because if you if i think it's particularly good for kids because kids would be coming back and go like, oh, I want this game. And you go like, yeah, $30, 30 euro. I mean, are you going to play it more than two hours? I'm probably going to be a little bit more than two hours so you can't get a refund. So this is the way, way to sort of explore games for, like, I guess, if you sort of follow someone like me and if I play a new game, you can watch the streams and you can know for certainty if this is a game that you will be spending more than 10 hours in. And that's great. But um, but kids don't really know that. They'll just like see a random video from a random YouTuber they follow and then they'll play it and then they find out that it's totally not what they thought it was. So, uh, play earlier. Seems everyone jumped on this today. I waited. What? What do you mean? Uh... I had to the video. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, does anyone sub to YouTube Premium? Uh, I mean, considered almost all my friends' friends are techies and a one person who. Well, yes, it actually it is. Thank you, P Barton. Thank you for the Prime for 21 months. Um, yes, people are doing that. It's about 20% of my meager YouTube income is from Premium. So, definitely some people, yeah. Um, go. Um, my son's doing and real struggles with new things, so new games aren't, but need to find good ones for him. And Game Pass is ideal for that, yeah, because it's there's not really any sort of uh, investment in it. You pay for the Game Pass, and then you get access to a lot of things you can try out and go, like, oh, this is not working, or this is might actually be a thing. So, hopefully, you can also judge based on what I'm uh. What I'm saying, whether this is going to be a good candidate. Glory Mole, thank you for your new subscription. That is one closer to our goal of reaching Partner Plus. Thank you very much for your regular subscription as well. Play today. Yes, I searched the game name and there's a list of videos. And everyone jumped straight on the game. Initial thoughts? I don't do initial thoughts. Not uh, not as a start of the stream. We're going to dive in. We're going to be playing the game. And then at the end of the stream, I'll be sort of uh, spending the last 10 minutes on just rambling and raving um less so because i know this game a little bit um uh, obviously since i've scheduled three days of playing it this week i am hoping that i'm expecting that it's going to be good so that's kind of how it is lexi pdm thank you for a Welcome tier one for 13 months much appreciated more than a year it's awful uh Exactly, he feels awful. Of he spends money and doesn't like the game, uh, so plays it anyway and gets annoyed with. It. Yeah, oof. I think a lot of people do that. I think a lot of people just feel that this is the sunk cost fallacy, and and good luck explaining to an autistic kid that that's a sunk cost fallacy. That just doesn't work like that. So having like doesn't matter. You play it, you have fun. If you like it, play more. If you don't like it, don't worry about it. That's much much better. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. Um. It's a new save on a factory game. Yeah, spam E for gather. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a little bit... It's a little bit rough, the, the spam E button. And there is one that says mass gather. It just doesn't work. It doesn't do what I would think it would be doing. So I would kind of hope that you click here and then you grab everything around it. Like, oh, that would be nice. But, you know, this is little things. Little things. I'm sure that we'll transition out of that eventually. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about Tectonica before we dive in. So Tectonica is... Like the very the 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 shortest description is satisfactory under uh, underground, but it's not really. Um, it kind of is, but it isn't. The factory game part is m very much similar to Foundry. It doesn't matter that that you can't really compare it to something you don't know either. But the style of building is uh, like Factorio inserters, uh, machines, and belts, and that kind of thing. While of course it's 3D, so it's, and oh right, also like Victoria, it's on a grid, and then comparatively in uh, where it's like uh, satisfactory, it's of course it's 3D, so you get to have no overview, and it's one of those things that it's actually a bigger problem than it 
it seems, and something that we'll see how that evolves as we dive deeper into the game. But Satisfactory just really suffers from just getting an overview. And so far, it's even more difficult in Tectonica because you're also crowded underground. So it's um it's it's gonna be it's difficult and there's a hell of a lot of clicking. And I've just gotten used to satisfactory worry of rotating. So when I click something and I rotate it and I scroll wheel, and which means it just selects something else instead of turning. Like I really want turning to be on the scroll wheel. That's so much easier. Because then you can just like click, scroll, turn around there instead of moving the mouse, the hand from the movement keys over to the R key to rotate things. But I mean, it, Factorio is like that. That's what I mean. Like the play style is very much like Factorio in 3D. And I think that's, it's Factorio 3D underground much more than it's satisfactory. Use the hover pack for overview. I don't think the hover pack works the way that I thought it would. I can't make it work very well, but we'll get to that when we get there. Um, so. Uh, but I'm lost at cycle 35. Oh, really? But, uh. Yeah, I guess like 35, maybe you got like the basic stuff. And that's where you sort of have to take like a step up in, in uh, I think around oxygen not included uh, cycle 35. That's like coal in satisfactory. That's like, oh, I now need to do some kind of cycle for water with overflows or oxygen generation. That's more than just algae. Like there's something there. The kind of oxygen controller. Oh, cool. Cool. That's pretty cool that it works. Um, I'm not going to play a factory game with a controller. No way. Dutchie, one, two, three. Thank you for the prime for eight months. Much appreciated. Oh, is that Joey? Uh, is that Joey, the game developer? I know there's a there's a Joey uh, at um, at <laughs> at Firehose. Welcome. So, uh, what we can do is we are going to play the game. We're going to start over from scratch. So, I'll have separate YouTube and Twitch. I will probably wrap up my YouTube into the Twitch as usual. But I don't think that really works when uh, when there's a story because I'll miss the story bits. So, I guess I'll have... Oh, yeah. Save games. Oh, that is awful. Awful, awful, awful that you can't name save games. So, now I have a separate text document with the... Net timestamp so I can keep track of a YouTube save, a test save, and a Twitch save, just based on the timestamp. Uh, uh, check uh, Francis John for lots of interesting content and ideas. Yeah. You could also check, there's a guy called Nilos who also played a lot of uh, Oxygen Not Included. You know, that's also an option. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Regarding your check news, yeah, I've heard he did some content some while ago. Yeah, so anyway, let's jump into the game. Let's see if it works. It does indeed. All right. So uh, I actually prefer when the developers are not here, and then I can they can watch the vod afterwards. But you're very uh, <laughs> and uh, because I want to be as honest as possible, and I. There will always be some things that annoy me that are completely unreasonable. Um, and, you know, you know, okay, here's an example. Like, what's with the fonts in this game? It's a complete mess. Hey, Gareth, thank you for keeping us up to Joey. Like, there's this thing, which I can understand is a, it's a text style. Like, okay, it's, it's like, I don't know, old school Matrix Pender style. Cool. But that's a different font. This is a completely different font as well. I think that's a different font from all the other ones. Like, there's a something else here. Like, there is... There's just all over the place. <laughs> I can leave. No, no, no. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Any good? Nah. Never heard of him. All right. Tectonica is an early access. You may experience bugs and performance issues. Please submit feedback at uh, feedbacktectonicagame.com. You'll be working in a mysterious facility with no memory of your existence. Emerge and build a sprawling factory to manufacture the machines and tools you'll need to explore the alien this alien world. All right. Let's go. This is a preview of the early access game. Be kind or else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be honest because... That's the only thing that has value for everyone. 
Um. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Emergency resuscitation of all personnel initiated. Exit this facility and report to production terminal Lima. Let's check out our health status. Your medical status is diagnostic failure. <laughs> report to medical officer for unknown. I'm watching House MD and I think Your this makes sense. Is diagnostic failure. Report to medical officer for unknown. Yeah, so um I think that it's um that's the summary of uh, of, uh, of of how's MD is diagnostic failure. So this is a tiny factory. We can get out here, but not right now. Good stuff. Yep, I'll get that uh, put up here. So we have two rows. These are the F keys. These are the number keys. Inventory. Let's go through all the tabs. Oh, by the way, inventory and handcrafting. We don't have a lot of stuff here. Uh, we have a journal where our stuff is uh, quest things. No, no. Th this is the this is the voice log. The log, the dates bank. This is when we discover things, scan things. Then we get it in here. The echo sketch map, which is both horrible and awesome. Um, it is really bad, but I guess it's supposed to be bad. Like it's supposed to not be super clear what you what's going on, and. Like what we can basically gauge out of this is this is some iron, this is some copper, this is some limestone. The green stuff is uh, machines or sort of buildables, I guess. And so you can't zoom out, you can't see further, but it's, since it's a 3D map, there's also some kind of, kind of trying to figure out uh, verticality as well. It's challenging, but... Um, it's, I think it's good that it's not too accurate. Remember when we played Fallen Order where the map is really good. In a 3D world, it's really, really good. But it's also like a little bit too good because you kind of know exactly where you go and everything is marked off with different colors when, when you can go there or you can't go there and it just kind of feels a little bit weird. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Your suit can't transmit a voice or ID signal. But my sensors are indicating you're out there. First things first, check in at that production terminal. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. There. Yeah. Now comes the uh, thought of satisfactory as well. Just press E on everything. Pick up everything. We need biomass to fuel our sprawling factory. So also we need to make sure that crap is not around here. Uh, here. All right. So we have a station Lima. This looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I wonder, is the map rendering generated? No, it's not. It's a custom made map and it kind of has to be because it's a story driven. So you kind of need to make sure that things are controlled. That's at least, I wouldn't imagine that it's, uh, auto generated. That would seem weird. All right. Um, is there a way to hide the UI? I didn't find anything. It would be really cool for uh, YouTube thumbnails, like hide UI. <laughs> right shift, control H. Right, right shift. Right shift, control H. Oh, that's weird. I would never have guessed that. Oh, hello, YouTube thumbnails. Nice. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's probably not intended. Uh, look at a plant. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you kind of had that coming by showing me that. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, let's go initiate the first mission. Interact. Oh, I uh, repaired the terminal, production terminal Lima. I kind of like this. Uh, is that the same font? No, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm obsessing about the font. No, it's not the same. This, this can't be the same. It doesn't matter. Now I'm just obsessing about it. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. 
Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. So, open tab. We can only make... We can make six of them because that's all we have. We're using iron frames and we can't make iron frames ourselves. So, we're going to have to go in here and... That. Task inbound. Mining drill. So. Must be built at an ore vein and fueled with plant matter. There. So they are mining. They are mining the iron in here. And we'll go over here for the copper as well. But. <laughs> Add more funds and press E. Yes, definitely. See, this is why. Okay, first of all, I am. My opinions are not necessarily valid. And I know that. I am a creator. I'm not a game designer. There might be some things where uh, players want something. And if they get it, they're suddenly going to hate the game. I don't think that that's the case with the E part. Um, but generally, we don't know what we want. And sometimes what we think we want, we don't want it. Um, and therefore, you have to be careful about thinking you know the answer. Because... There might be something you think like, oh, it would be cool if something. And then if you actually did that, it would invalidate something else or it would invalidate some of the challenge of the game. And that challenge is what keeps you sort of focused. Let me just see if we can find some good examples of some kind of aspect like that in uh, there's space for that, space for that. But of course, things that uh, will come up, um, I'm sure, that we want to make sure is, uh, is, is sort of more convenient. I'm really more focused on sort of the user experience because if we're going to play this for hundreds of hours, there will be a lot of things we have to do a lot of times. And those are the kind of the things I want to focus on. So, repair the terminal. Wow, that was it. Good oh, work there you go. getting that ore plugged into the terminal, Groundbreaker. If you weren't on my crew, you should have Cheers. been. For the next phase of repairs, you're going to need a scanner. The tech for it unlocked automatically when you fix this thing. So, open up your crafting menu and build one. Yep. Alright, so Task let's look at the tech tree. Scanner. Scan machine fragments to restore <clears throat> tech tree access. Alright, so I, I like this idea. Uh, we currently don't, don't have a lot of options here. These are the different tech trees. Uh, terraforming, we've got the mining drill already. I'm imagining that this one cost four to unlock. Um, then we have different tech levels. When we update the terminal, we get to the next one. So now we got a basic science orb thing and then a scanner. So here's the thing, 380 Nm, that's nanometer. Does that mean we're really small? Because this orb is pretty big. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So the way it works is that, for example, this one is blue. We can't. This one is unlocked and active. This one is. Uh, we can't even research it because we have to find some examples of smelters out in the world. Scan those three of them. Once we have that, returns. then uh, we can do it. Research cores required for activation of new technologies. Refer to tech tree for current core manifest. Upgrade module scanned. Additional tech tiers or cores may be required. Open tech tree to review. Uh, there. Who was that? That was uh, Sir Conrad. Thank you for the 46 months. Small world, great engineers. Indeed. Uh, let's see. No, we have to go over here. Your T. mining drills won't be able to get you everything you need to build the rest of those research Yes, cores. this one we got. Situations like these are why we always left chests with backup components kicking around. Scan. So we scan one out of three smelters. Two, three. I think, so now I've been, been marking the fonts and the E part. I think this is a brilliant way to force people to explore the world. Because now I, I know that I have to do it sometimes uh, to go out and find new examples. But that also means that I will immediately be told from game logic that there will be hidden secrets out there. So I need to be exploring because there could be something cool out there that I don't have. And on top of that, so it's not completely hidden, you can also see things here. 
that you don't have but then you can know like oh okay if you let's say we move up to this tech level and then we see something down here that we haven't found that's probably because there's some cool thing out there that we could scan but we haven't scanned yet and therefore it sort of tells us to go back out and explore some more i like uh, so now we have the scanner but we need to make some of uh, these cubes uh there and let's see we can't do the smelter yet no we have to build eight of those orbs here so there we go get some more orbs and that goes into this location so here are these uh oops so if these are 380 nanometers wide that makes us small it could be the wavelength true but i don't think it is yay loot more loot more loot and then we stack these up i like this idea that they are physical things that you have to make room for in a, in a world where space will be constrained then having things that are actually physical objects that you need to fit in is a fun idea i think there and who was that hey nick thank you for the 32 months uh, oh hold on can i also scan these i don't think i've scanned them no nope, i haven't so here we can new data bank entries b for bank i'm not gonna read this And I, I appreciate that there is this lore that you can do it, but I'm 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 not gonna read that. Um, I think it's cool that it's there. It's just for a different type of gamer than me. And let's get you here. Research cores constructed. Smelter technology available for activation in Ooh. Tech Tree. go Do I have more yeah two more and then we go to tech tree now we can see we have 16 here and we can then unlock the smelter Sweet. technology activated proceed with construction of smelter i think one of the things that must be interesting as a game developer who's played this a lot and of course this can then looking at someone playing it and go like wow you're really inefficient Wow, do you think that that's the right way to do it? Okay, maybe we haven't really instructed you on how to do things the right way because that's certainly not the right way. You know, something like that. You see people yeah, play the game help. and then go Smelter. like, is that, why would you think that's a things. good idea? Requires plant matter for fuel. All right, so now you can see we need all the plant matter that we've been collecting. Here, yeah. I'm making it like this because then I can carry it directly over uh, but so far there and we have that one that one oh, good what is this copper ore yeah 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 all right so now we can get some some of the next part uh, we're either very small or very large and Let's build a factory. Either way, we need to build a factory. Whatever size we are, we have to build a factory. Oh. So you need to scan everything because even if there's nothing that um, you need from it, you still get resources. Maybe except the beacons if you kind of want to have some beacons around. Mm. Yeah. There. And we get stuff from here. That goes into that one. sure good oh and they don't have fuel yet there yeah. as you can see even with all our pickups then still not even close to or we're already out of fuel anyway so more f fuel gathering i suppose let's uh, run this way how this smells uh inserters it's like factorial in that regard go up here uh, more pressing e 
Uh, okay, if Joey, it's before we scare him off, I want to uh, ask something. Where is it? Eh. Okay, so I don't have that yet. Hmm, that's weird. I wanted to. There's a mass gather option somewhere, but it doesn't do what I would expect it to do. All right, let's scan this one. This computer has a requisition for local plant life to be delivered to a science team for analysis. It looks like the request was approved, but doing it was marked as a low priority by command, even though the request itself was marked as urgent. We didn't come here for science, but I don't remember this kind of hostility about it either. What were they doing here? Weeping Hydra. There. Really need an upgrade so that when you pick up, you pick up around in an area around around you. That's at least in the beginning. And take that. <clears throat> okay. Um, do you want to drop down here? Yeah, sure. Right. We should have enough to unlock the next stage. Yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. actually, when we're here, then I should be always do this. Uh, there. Cool. That's one. Not for blend, it gathers from all. Ah, uh, okay. Well. It, that makes sense why it doesn't do what I want it to do, because that's not what it's intended for. Alright, I'll leave that as it is for now. And we have enough to unlock the next tier. Alright. Terminal upgraded. New technology and crafting schematics available. All right, let's have a look at those. That is, now we get, ooh, containers, conveyor belts, and inserters. Woohoo! That's something we want. Let's move you further down. You're not as important. Um, in order for us to actually get there, let's uh, look at the map. Beep. <coughs> here. You can see there's a path here. Um, we can go there. I think we can chop through this, this area. Uh, where is it here? Whoop. Are we getting anywhere? Damn. It, there are cracks forming. And I pick up... Yeah, look at that. Hidden secrets. So this is what I mean by when I say that the map is awful and good. Because... It is not super intuitive, but it's good enough for us to understand that we have to do something here. Like this map, you can could see this you could because it's like echo thing, and that's why it's shimmering and weird and not sort of solid. It would be nice if you could move the cursor on the map, but I also understand why you can't because this is supposed to be an echo, so it, it's probably a ping from around you, and therefore whatever is further away is invisible. Makes sense. Uh, so we get up here. And then ooh, we can now get into a glorious location. This is where we looked at. We started right up here. And now we're on the other side. So lots of cool things to scan here. Oh, uh, Only the broken ones we can scan. That's broken. Nope, that's not broken. This one's broken. Mm, oh, yeah. And these ones have uh, some really, really good fuel. Biomass. And here. Yummy. Uh, that one can be scanned. We could make like factory-ish out here, but I don't think that really makes sense to do. Uh, or really try to restore it. Um, like Also, by the way, why is it not actually working? I don't even know. Like It should be working, right? It has fuel. So why is it not mining? Don't know. 
let's see and then the last thing we can do here is just pick up from the belt you can unfortunately not deconstruct things that are built by someone else like in this case uh, and I think that's a good thing because otherwise you'd have to balance it around um, all right hey this is a good example right this is a good example of something that the player would want to have like I would want to be able to deconstruct this because I'd love to have free stuff but as a game designer you'd probably go like no we can't give you this much stuff for free because it would skew the balance between finding this hidden room and not finding the hidden room because if you find it then you get way too much and we want to show you a factory but we don't want to give you a factory right I think that's kind of that would be an example of, of something where the player would want something but it actually wouldn't be good if we actually got it uh, let's see are there any more broken things around here these are protected as they can be just uh, you can take track players but yeah, yeah I know but there's only one player and uh, that's me so isn't one of these that one is broken cool oh that's a scanning along and sort of oh shoot why can I not scan you I scanned a long inserter. Ah, oh, there must be more long inserters that are broken here. Must be. I hope there is. That one. Are you broken? Nope. Are you broken? No. Hmm. So I got one scanned long inserter. That sucks. How do I not get the other one? But I can see you. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Well, that's cheeky. There we go. Uh, now we get long inserters. We can research this. Ta -da! That's convenient. Cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything else interesting in here. So let's just head out. If it says inspect, they are working. They are functional. If uh, they don't say inspect, then we can scan them. Just trying to see. Good. And these ones don't have anything. Good. And then we look at the map. This one was the chest where we picked up the first stuff in, and that one we need to find. Uh, here. Alright. See, this is another thing. And there. Okay, this is actually nice that you can see this, but when we get the mole, I can't really see if, if things are working or not. Or, like, protected area. The <laughs> Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, I guess there's some elements to it. This may take a while. Chop, chop. I hope it's correct. Uh, it's not. Ha! Is it? No. All of this is protected, so I kind of have to go around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's opening. Hey, also save is... Uh, ah, there we go. Ooh, so smelters, belts, containers, inserters, small things, and cooling systems. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, and now I need to figure out which way is back. There we go. Ta -da! That's a cool one. So I think we got the stuff there. And we're going to need a little bit more of this. This is uh, the press, press E simulator. Um, what did we need? Oh, actually, I think we have everything we need here for um, for the next unlock. But I do think before we do that unlock, I think we want to automate it a little bit more. Okay. I think I'm actually going to do a different different way. Because I have so many belts now that we can go. So, yay, we're playing factory game. We have belts. Sweet. Task inbound. Conveyor belt. Use conveyor belts to build networks between machines. 
Inserters are required to transfer items to and from conveyor belts. No. Containers. There. 567. Don't need you. Did we have some long handed? No, we didn't. Uh, that, I don't know what. Ready to use cooling system. Awesome. Um, outbound. Outbound, 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 out, and. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Yeah. And. There. It's actually going to be a problem anyway. Because. One of these inserters is not fast enough to keep up with this. So I need two inserters. Which is awful. This is not working. This is a bad idea. Because I can't move this on a belt. Because I'm gonna then I'm gonna use twice as many inserters. That's not a good idea. There. And instead I'm just gonna go straight in here. And then that just means I have to feed these manually. Yeah, and Yeah, and you go in there, and you go in there, and there. Good. Yeah, top it up. Top it, top it up, and top it up. Good. But we can then bring this part out, because that's two to one, so it's more, more valuable to bring this out, I think. Cool. And one. Uh, yes, I know. And also that one. Good. So we now have a production. Let's get that into. The sound of opening and closing that is a little bit annoying. Yeah. And. Nope. Wrong way. How do you turn? Oh, right. Okay. So if you hold it down, you can actually turn it while it's moving. Cool. There we go. We can now pick up the iron as we need it and I'm gonna to try to build the same thing over here can I make some sure yeah that's a little bit of a shame here Good. And then I am going to go insert us. Yeah. Insert it there. Insert it there. And insert it there. And insert there. And remove you. And then the belt goes from here. I guess like this. And seven. That's a box. Sure. Can I rotate it? Yes, I can. There we go. That should be somewhat automated and working for a while now. Uh, just topping up on this part. There. See, we're already out. <clears throat> Good. All right, let's move on. Move on. What do we need? Um, there. We have some of that. 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 And we just need four. There. And let's also get a few. And let's make a few of those as well. Oh, I think that actually consumes the other ones. Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't matter. We want to automate this so that it keeps going when we're going out and doing stuff. What else can we do? No, we're in the handcrafting world here. Hmm. Well. Let's go for the press E simulator in the meantime. If you've not killed every living thing in this region before moving on, you're not playing the game right. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, so this is the limestone deposit. That one. 
I'm guessing, right? Yeah, limestone vein, cool. Not interested in that right now. Don't even know if we ever will be interested. Well, probably at some point, but uh, are we still in this zone then? Great. We have cleaned out this area. Good. I think we have what we need back, back at home. Uh, do we have it? No, we didn't. Oh, it's still handcrafting. It's still crafting. Because I decided to make uh, cancel crafting. Good. Good, good. And get in here. And voila. Upgrade terminal. Fully upgraded. Sweet. Are back online. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three, two, one. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Life so I see a little blip there and I see some blips over there. Access to all local facilities should be restored, including the one I've been stuck in this entire time. I've set an unlock code to the door. I've got some tech you're going to like, and I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. All right, let's figure out what that tech was. We get up here, tool belt two, but that requires 35. Uh, bio break assembler, we'd like that, but can't. Bio break would be nice as well. Uh, the mole, that's what we want to go. And also, look at that, 70 more of those blobs placed. And we have some power generation, and we have some mass collect. It's not called mass gather, it's mass collect. Enables mass collection of ex assets in immediate vicinity. So I think that assets, I would, I thought that would be like farm things. Add another one here that says mask collect would be nice. So that uh, the excessive eing, because that would be something I would easily pay 10 for 10 right now just to get that. Good. Uh, let's see. Collection of assets, it's not really clear, at least to me, what that means. And over here. Right. This is unfortunately a, an important part of the game, and especially if you want to keep your factories running or Hold on, actually, I didn't see what I got from this level. I got uh, electronic components. So now I can make iron frames. Iron frame means that I can now make more miners because they require iron frames. Sending that signal is more complicated than you think. I don't know why, but these computers feel like second nature now. One, two, three, four, five. Sort of the opposite of what I remember being like. I'd be the one to get you out of a situation like this instead of the other way around. But I'm not giving up. That's how I know it's still me in here. You'll see. Okay. And then there's two more. That Oh, that's actually neat. Now it actually makes more sense to me. Now you can see that this level, level here is pink. And then the other levels are purple. Right, when we were up here... It wasn't sort of clear why some stuff was purple and some was pink, at least to me. But now it's really clear that at the same level, we have two more things. Ooh, fast inserters. And a crank operator and some advanced circuits. Sweet. And... Electronic components, advanced circuits, and that now the three we have at this level. So we have one up there and one there. Huh. It's a nice balance of, uh, of, of sort of giving you a hint without spoiling it too much right it's easy to miss but it's not sort of something that you 
are definitely going to miss. Uh, so there's something in there. Was that where I came from? Uh, no. Uh, it's uh, four player. I believe it's four player for multiplayer. So pretty sure you can play it yourself. Casualties detected. Oh no! My companion One. cube. You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube next to their own dead body before? Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. <laughs> you take it rather well that you've been, you are dead and living in a cube now. You, you, it's... Hmm, hold on. Am I missing something? One, two, three. Those ones we have. Uh, what are you and what are you? So it's definitely up. Now I'm at the right level. Oh shit, there's a, a box up there. I guess we have to come back to this location when we have a hover pack because I can't see how we would get up there unless we can jump onto that. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. Soon we'll be two people dead. One of them, only one of us will be inside a crate. Oh, that's so cool. See, this is what I mean. Like it gives us enough of a, ooh, a hint to find it. But, um, and then you can be as persistent or not. Now, we don't have that one, though. Am I looking? Yeah, I'm looking at it. But that's back in the other room. Is there fall damage? I don't think there's fall damage. Woo! Stop. It's that one, yes. Scan the fragment in that cage by the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get Stop. out of the sector. Uh, it would be nice if the map indicated whether or not they were collected. Yeah, but that's because it's not really, it's not triggering, oh, what is that? Conveyor belt mark 2. Uh, that it's a collectible. It just says that it's a man-made product because it's not a, it's not a loot indicator. It is a indicator that there's a, a buildable, like that's a buildable, right? That's our base, right? Isn't it? Is that our base? Hold on. Oh, right, that's the cop of the part, and that's the iron part, and that's the Lima station. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of course, let's uh, bring our companion cube up here. Oops, I lost that one. Cool, crank operator, don't care about those. And let's bring our good friend. It's a companion cube. We'll be dragging this along everywhere Local we go. signal deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. Home? What is home if you are now in alien box? The factory is the home. Exactly. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Production terminal, Victor. Breaker, this is the time to activate the mole in your tech tree and build one. We won't be able to cut through to Sector Victor without it. Cool. Uh, activate the mole. That probably means creating more of these. Oh, we already have 24 of them, so no need. Uh, let's place them then. do it yeah how many more two more there 
Okay, tech tree. And what do we want? It is under terraforming. The mole. Bleep. Cool. Task inbound. Mole. Make it. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. Mm. Goes into F3. Bulletin. This mole is not authorized to destroy resources, critical infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. That's a nice way of sort of making an uh, a, a a game mechanic sort of be integrated into sort of game lore that oh yeah you could but it's not authorized to instead of being like oh you destroyed your only iron mine you're screwed uh, use them all and locate something all right so I don't think we have any more secrets here uh, there are no more pings but we have that one so let me go around that location. So this is, oh, uh, we want to keep it at level. I find this to be incredibly difficult to control. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of that facility. I appreciate it. It's pretty cool that the, the whole time, like world the here is is, on work is not terraformable. Up thinking about anything else. But I then to stay sharp for both of us. Oh, sorry. But now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I was terrified. It'll be good to see some friendly faces. Friendly faces? Twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there too. <laughs> You're looking forward to seeing friendly faces. You are dead. You are a companion cube now. How do you even see in there? How does that work? I mean, it's alien tech, so who cares? But it's still funny. It kind of feels, and I don't know, it kind of feels like this is, it is... It's something that was written, narrated, voice acted, and then after that, we'll go like, no, we don't want to have another character walking around. Uh, yeah, let's make it a companion cube instead. And then sort of kept the, like, I don't know if that's the case, but it kind of feels like it. Okay, so here, uh, that's going to be impossible to, I'm going to try it because, you know, I'm going to try it. Yeah, the one pixel on the minimap, I know. Oof, 98. Getting closer. Oops, overheated. So, but it's also down and I don't know how to, well, I assume that we can just dig down. Then we cool it off. A little bit more. Now the question is, can I? See, I can't dig down. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm pretty much right on top of it, but since I can't dig down, then Use the pick? All right, I don't know. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of limestone. If I can then fall down here, maybe I can from down here. Yeah, it worked a little bit.
I just need to fall down in that hole. I get stuck, I can just portal my way out, I think. <laughs> portal. It's not a portal gun. There we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Alright, where, where are we at? <laughs> this is a little bit insane. Well, at least you will know when you play the game in a week's time whether it is worth doing this or not. <laughs> I think I saw a respawn button somewhere. Damn, we're close. And I'm even looking in the right direction. <laughs> Wait for it to be a troll. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he go? Uh, you left a marker here on the map. So I'm going to find it. If it's the last thing I do. Wasn't there an option for respawn? Hmm, I felt there was. Ah! Yes! Well, I don't know if it's worth it, but it's ours now. All temperature calibrated. <laughs> Auto injection of coolant standing by. <laughs> now what? Um. Yeah. Ah, there you go. See? Easy. I th just remember that I had seen a respawn button. There we go. All right, so I don't know if that was wor uh, worth it. I'm still going to use this for cleaning this one. Yep. And cleaning the other one. I know we have a break, but I just have a place where there's a much better t place to get the to take the break at. Uh, cooling, yeah. Oops. I mean, uh, let's follow the river. That's just so much more logical to do that. Oh, what the hell? Is it using coolant now? Do I want to do that? I don't think so. Uh, resources are not infinite. Uh, there are like patches and they will get mined out. Not sure I like using my coolant. I feel that's too valuable, but maybe that's just literally the only thing that's useful. And we are now on the other side. We found Victor. And more press E action. All right, so. I, I don't understand. A factory they extend the size out. of a city is supposed to be here. There will be a factory the size it of a city. right here. I know it was. Where is everybody? Inside some companion cubes? Saved. And uh, let's see, I will be doing doo -doo -doo -da -da, and then I'm going to be taking a short break. I will be back in two minutes and then we'll be uh, figuring out what the, the Victor location is all about. Be back in a bit.
Welcome back. Uh, is the game worth buying? Well, that's really uh, up to you, I guess. Um, let me see. How did I get out of this mode? There. Uh, oh, skin. What I can give you is I can show you the game. And I can say the stuff that I like and the stuff that I don't like. And you can then, based on whether you think you generally our opinions of games are aligned. Like, for example, I did not like uh, uh, Subnautica, but it's an excellent game. So me saying I don't like it is not really very valuable in terms of sort of is it a good game or not. So. And also another thing is like asking a content creator for a recommendation. It's kind of a little bit difficult because our buying situation is different from everyone else. Like it doesn't have to have a lot of value for it to be valuable for for a creator. But anyway, I uh, I like it. I liked it in the early demo and I thought it was uh, very much worth looking at again, which is why we do it now. So uh, I don't generally play games. It's very easy to see when I don't enjoy a game. I am not good at faking it. <laughs> Which is also another reason why I don't do sponsored videos very often. Because uh, if I play a game and do a sponsored video and I just absolutely hate it, it's a little bit difficult for me to not sort of just absolutely hate on it. Which is not really the greatest thing for, uh, for sponsored content. So if I do sponsored content, I feel that I should at least be confident that I'd want to play at least at least one stream for it. Good. All right, this Lima station. Let's um, go up and clickety-click something here. Ooh, stuff. Yes. Now that you've got a core composer, all you core need composer. is a big enough power floor and a few crank generators to power it. After that, Fountain. you'll be able to dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Task inbound. Core the composer. core composer is interesting. Supply with research cores via belts and inserters for automatic <laughs> placement and availability. You also haven't played Forever Skies yet, which is a very fun game, though short. Oh, it's a short game. I didn't even know that. Um, I I actually didn't like it. I, I watched three episodes of a Let's Play uh, just to give it a fair chance because Baked Beans, you have a quite similar taste to me, uh, usual. I mean, you're the one who can recommended Drift Breaker back in the days um, and other games as well. Then, so I was just taking a look at it, and I could see the appeal, but the, it just felt a little bit too much, like, go around, pick everything up, and just, yeah, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't, it was just something about it that didn't really appeal to me. This terminal is trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that might not exist anymore. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Have a look at some of the new stuff on your tech tree. Keep your eyes out for fragments, and let's get to work. All right, so we got a new level here. That's Silverthorn Processing. Which means we get plant matter, frames, silver thorn coolant, silver thorn extract, silver thorn, silver thorn buds, and one more thing. We got faster mold thing, and we also got the mold flattened, but we don't have this. So one of the first things we want to do is set up a production line for um, for science, because then we can unlock a lot of these things. I think bio brick valuable. Uh, we have twenty two points. Assembler is what we need now. And what else? We got the fast one. We don't have the filter, so we need to find filters in order to do that. Transportation, hover pack, we wouldn't mind getting that one. Uh, we can get suit speed, 15% extra run speed. Crank connect, that's for the crank. Oh, oh, we have to purchase this. Oh, I guess. Oh, well, that's actually fortunate. 16 plus that. That's something we definitely want. There we go. Uh, so what is this? This is a, a, a bad power generator. That only lasts for five minutes, and this is uh, basically... Deciphering this first signal by building power floors looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. I'm sure it will. I'm pretty sure. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. 
It's time to put those cool generators and power floors to use, Breaker. To make power floors. Frames, you'll need planters and threshers, and they only run on electricity. After you grow and thresh Kindlevine, you'll need to thresh the Kindlevine stems it produces a second time to turn them into plant matter fiber. And then you can either craft the plant matter frames by hand or build an assembler to do it for you twice as fast. And that's a lot of new tech to activate. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, now is the time. Right, so that's a lot of things we suddenly got. Uh, base building. Let's make a lot of this. Task inbound. Crank generator. Activate with manual or automated rotation to produce electricity. Task well, it's, kind of, it's also releasing Game Pass. Oh yes, it is. Build to establish structural foundation and conduct electricity from crank generators. You might want to try crafting a few bio bricks, Breaker. They'll burn a lot longer than plant matter, and at some point you'll probably want to set up a production line that can feed them directly into your machines. I know, but Long there's... Long inserters might be your friends on that one. Are you kidding me? There's too many Local things I need to do now. Ingress AS2013. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Right, so uh, this is the crank generator. We do that and then it works for five minutes, delivering 150 kilowatt. Again, there's something wrong about, like, they, they're different fonts again. I usually not a, uh, a extreme about the fonts, but damn. All right, so we got a million do new, new things that we need to address right now. Uh, but we have tasks and tips. So, supply 180 plant matter frames, 2,400 iron ingots, 2,400 copper ingots. That's a lot of everything. Build and place a core composer uh, on a power floor with five activated crank generators. So we need to have five activated crank generators. That's what we're working on right now. And decipher the signal by crafting and placing an unknown number of crank generators. Decipher signal by crafting an unknown number of processor units in an assembler. That's not happening. We didn't time soon. Plus one more task. Uh, where do we see tasks? Journal? That's these ones, right? Repairing production terminal, Victor. We got that one. Automating core placement. Yes, that's the next one. And then we have three things to decipher. This is unknown core units. This one is assembler and craft and place an unknown number of accumulators. Okay, and this one is the crank generators. Okay, the crank generators we get now. We need to make them on a line. We need one more. Hmm. All right, it's coming. So we can get more of the flooring. Oh, it actually levels this out. This is nice. And then I need one more crank generator. Mm, is that up here? There. So these have to be cranked manually. Local signal deciphered. Ingress RH1979. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Okay, so we can go up here and that one. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Mind the voltage. Mind the voltage. AS. Uh, good. So we have a new location. We have uh, here. There's a ton of things to discover. Uh, do we see where this one? It's probably, I'm staring right at it, so it's probably this location that it's referring to. Good. Right. So I need to do that. Um, where's my core composer? I'll put that on 8. No, I didn't want to put that. I put it on put it F8. F8. Uh, this is... Funny how it can just be placed right there, but nowhere else. Uh, let's actually just continue to make a ton of these. Because I can't imagine a world where we don't want a lot of those. Okay. And then I guess, since we have limestone and that, uh, intermediates would be... bio. Where's the bio bricks? Can we not do bio bricks? No. No? No, nope, no bio bricks. Never mind. Oh, 
Oh, it just takes out those. Okay, so does that also annihilate that? Yes, it does. Cool. So F8. Hmm, I need a like. Okay. I'm kind of worried about it bumping into this. Uh, it's not. Okay, so this is for automatically making cubes. So we are going to be making a... Eight, yeah. Eight. Hmm. They really don't like to be next to each other. Like, not even like this, but this distance. So I guess we can take some long-handed inserters. And then in here I need to, oh. I need to build a lot of that. 167 more. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Let's move on over here. <laughs> Imagine where, where I don't pave everything. I mean, it's, it is better paved. I'm not, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do it. Um, I'm not, probably not gonna make everything into one big factory, but I think the idea of this game is also that you find some caves and then you build a factory there and then hopefully sort of around the same time that you feel you're running out of space, you get sort of a, maybe because you run out of stuff or maybe you need to go something else and then you go to some other place that also has a, like a big cave or something to that effect. Ooh. That's an assembler. One out of three assemblers. Perfect. Two assemblers. I'll take the lights as well. Just... Why not? Uh, okay, so we have some copper over here. Actually, interesting. This is the Factorio style of copper, where copper is orange and iron is... Well, iron is not blue, but it's yeah, silvery. Huh, I need one more. Crap. Only two. I see some... Oh, I see some shimmering here. Oh, yeah. Ta -da. Hello, Kukain. Welcome. Power with electricity to produce items in multiply quantities. In other words, even though you can handcraft anything, assemblers will make two of them in the same time it takes your portable tool to make one. And we can build a thousand assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. Oh, technically, parents can. And I would also imagine that there's tech for that. Okay, so we have iron deposit here. Uh, it's not the same height. Well. All right, we're now making these cubes, companion cubes or uh, science cubes. Uh, I guess we move on. We don't have any. S we don't have any space left in our inventory. That sucks. It's the price of the game. I have no idea. You can check it out on Steam. There's a there's a discount, I believe, when it just for a launch dick discount. It's nice that it doesn't double build things. Uh, I think we're gonna make like a walkway. For this as well. Ugh. And then F7. Yeah. Whoops. Right, so we can get back up there. I don't really feel that I want to start building that yet. We're still in the explore mode. 
And we're still handcrafting stuff, so... Is it in here? I think it's in here. Oh. Wouldn't that be cool if this one was the same height as that? Damn it. It isn't, but it would be cool though. It would be very cool if it was. What do we have? Hey, a battery pack. Hey. Sorry, an accumulator substation. I'll try to go easier on the recon slang. It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything you find in places like these. I like. It can only help. If only what? Sorry, you were saying. How long are we streaming for? I'm streaming until midnight, so that's uh, three and a half hours more, or two and a half hours more. Ooh. If anyone else is still around, they wouldn't a blue be cube. Here. These places were pretty much built and left alone. Molesby too. Interesting. And Ugh. it's getting a little bit crowded in here. Warning: Yune has anti-gravitational weight limit exceeded. How about? Your suit can only hold so much in a weightless state without slowing you down, Breaker. Get to a container and offload a few things as soon as possible. This sector was a dream come true for hydroelectric power. It isn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. Mm. You get the drift. Yeah, I think I prefer the... Along with a good old-fashioned river. Non-exploding kind. So anyone that's... Anything that's broken, we can just pick it up. And that's... I don't know what that is. What did I get? High voltage cable. That's a gigantic cable, if that's a cable. Kindle vine. Good. That one's broken. So basically, if I can connect them, then anytime we turn our crank, then that was not a euphemism, then it should be filling up these in here, right? Because they will be on the same network if I connect them now. It's so close. We're just, um, yeah. Cool. Go up here. Go out. Oh. Go up. And now it should be connected, right? Let's see. This one's out of power because of course it is. Um, but we have 40 of these. On the batteries. No, no, no. The ones I picked up on, uh, were destroyed. The ones I scanned were destroyed, but the other ones were not destroyed. And they work fine. Uh, that one. Good. And then I have to turn these. Okay. There. Too much power. Too much power. Too much power and just the right amount of power and it's now going in and i got one cube placed sweet whoa that was a lot of cubes uh good all right so here's mm. uh power 
Accumulator. Yes, they... Oh. They are putting it in. Unless when this one actually places it, right? Okay. That's good. So what I want to do on the tech tree was under energy, there's this crank thing. I'll take that. That means now these should be connected. Hmm, they should have been connected, shouldn't they? Maybe I need to delete them. No, oh, okay. So now they are connected. All right. There. I'm missing one. And one more. Come on, build faster. And then this is a bad place to have it. Well, it's running out anyway, so. Let's get another one. And we did get the, oh, we did get over here. The assembler is something we'd want. Uh, synthesis, is that assembler? Yes. And bio brick. Oh, right, that's why I couldn't build the bio brick. Ah. How are you doing? You're doing fine. You're just out. Sweet. Then we are going to build uh, eight. What is here? Long handed inserters. Long inserters. There we go. And just the meager amount I have left. And then the final crank thing. And then I crank that one. And if we look at the power network, now we should have. How is this not? Okay, that one was not activated. There we go. That should activate all of them, right? So now I have 1500 and I'm filling up my accumulator charge pretty quickly. So that's nice. Excellent. And oh, that's also filling up nicely. 33. So what do we want to do? Um, make an assembler. I think we just want to make an assembler just to make bio breaks. That's just going to be like here. And... How do we do that? Assembler. Uh, and then some logistics, some... Oh, oh, we don't have iron ingots. Crap. I guess we have to go back and get stuff. And I now that we come to this point where I'm kind of in doubt about any time I place something, then I'm like, oh, but... Is this the right time and place to place it? Or should I wait a little bit until... Or will I have a better place to place it um, right now? Because this could be expanding. This could be expanding. I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll do something. Um, here. What do you want? You want to make... That's a bio brick. There. And then I need to do here. Uh, let's see. Maybe this works. Good work on that bio brick production breaker. I know how oddly appetizing they look, but you'll be happier if you stick to using them as fuel. Oddly, what? Right, so the thing is, if we look at this, this is 50. There's no way that these two slow pokes can get 50 in there. So, another option is doing this. Uh, these inserters don't take power, by the way. And I am pretty sure that's not a good idea. This is what I did here, that one. It's not fast enough, is it? No, it's not fast enough. It needs to. Damn. Alright, cool. And this one will then be the bricks. I... Don't know if I want to put all of it in here because... Two, three, four... What? There are three of each type of smelters back home uh, like in the original location right like this and then 
So I need 50 each, and then I do one, two, one, two. There we go. That should be enough to go back here. And let's build some... Oh. <laughs> we are desperately running out of iron. So hopefully we can get some back at our home base. Or original base. I'm, I'm holding shift to run. It's honestly really difficult to see if there's a difference between running and not running. Yay! That's a set something. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Kindlewine extract. That's moving. That's running. Good stuff and boom got it <coughs> we can't keep running back and forth what is that ping i i don't know but it's kind of annoying i think it's because i have a ping up here let's go up and and poke it so it stops pinging because now you use you mentioned it yes it got a little bit annoying Oh, it's because we completed it. Triangulated. New location added to HUD. Exceptional dimensions. Oh. Crank. Crank. Oh, RH. Let's see. We can't see where that is, but it's the same direction. Right. So what do we want to do now? Um, this one is working. Slowly, but... Why is it not moving? Okay, it is moving, but slowly. And it's not building because even even with four inserters, it's just not fast enough. That is kind of ridiculous. Huh. Yeah, you can only build eight, and we're now halfway, 12. It needs to get up to 50. You know, on one hand, like that's annoying. On the other hand, it's like, whatever, I guess, right? And this will then be there. And... Alright, so could I build over here a builder for this? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So let's see. This will be a science cube. That's copper wire and this thing here mechanical components. So I need two more builders in here. And they all need copper. You don't need copper though. Hmm. One. Please build here. Yeah, and I want another one there. And then let's pretend. I'm. It's a big pretend here. That's going to be copper inbound, and that's going to be iron inbound. I don't think this is a good idea how to make this. Alright, so the middle one will be cubes here, and you will be that one, and you will be mechanical parts, which is... okay. So for now, I can probably make... Oh, I have some fast ones, sure. We'll make copper over here. Make iron over here. Sure. And this will be only copper, so I need... And this will not be anything. This will be 
One of each? Ugh. And then... Oops. I don't think it needs two, but... Right, so let's see. It makes copper wire. Sweet. And it gets copper wire from this belt. And you are making getting copper wire and you're also getting that one inbound uh, mechanical parts are you making mechanical parts fast enough yeah iron ingots are not coming in fast enough yeah these are just ridiculously slow <laughs> well mm, but it's also making four so maybe this one can't consume it fast enough i really i really dislike games that don't tell us with the crafting speed like it's so annoying like, just tell us, what is this crafting speed? I don't want to sit here and time this. And, ugh. Just give us the crafting speed so I can calculate what the ratio is between this one and that one. That is not too much. This is, this is a, obfuscating stuff like that is not adding to complexity. complexity. It's just adding to annoyance. Cool, let's go out and, uh, ratios matter. Absolutely, absolutely, because having one to two or two to one or three to two is really important at this point of course it doesn't really matter but it's still like how fast is this how fast is that Ugh. just don't don't keep it hidden for us no way i can make this faster no when i if i do this then i'd have to turn this one around and have like a broadside uh, whatever. But maybe this doesn't matter. That they, they're just. It doesn't matter that it's not building fast. It's just building. That's the only thing that sort of is super interesting right now. That it is progressing. It's all good. And this crank operator is bad. There. Get it back in. And then look at power. And it still has a stupid amount of uh, accumulator charge. So it's pretty good. So it will continue to work for a long time, even though when the cranks are not operating. All right, we got a little two small things done, and it is time for us to head out and find out what our H is. <laughs> Nova Lands, don't know what that is. Actually, I think I need to build some iron smelting first. Yeah. Is that like the start of our bus? Woohoo, Silver Cecil, thank you for the 200 bits. It is crazy when we're uh, when we're playing something that's really popular and then there were a few subs in the beginning but then nothing it does kind of like i understand that, that subscription is and and like subscription and view count are not particularly correlated in any way well they, of course they, they are correlated but it's not like twice as many viewers twice as much engagement and welcome everyone, new as well as regulars. Uh, I am also having a derelict YouTube channel that uh, is where I'm trying to make some content as well. And I don't know why I'm so keen on this. I just can't really leave it. Okay, so let's see. This is the part. All right, what did happen? Oh, Calmarin, thank you for it. Ooh, it's a tier three sub, Calmarin. Thank you very much for a tier three sub. Trying to definitely do that. Can you turn the iron belt uh, on the side if you reduce turrets. the copper belt? Welcome home. On the side if you reduce the copper belt? Don't. Well, then it's not longer a boss. If I sort of end it, I could sort of uh, go down. Yeah, I could. Yes. Returns. Uh, Welcome home. Will O'Neill, thank you. I was like looking at it. Uh, how is that? Will O'Neill, thank you for your first time chat. Is a 200 bit donation. Thank you very much. What a great way to start. Uh, Paranoid Snow, thank you for the Prime for 21 months and Diffuse for 53 months of a loyal re, uh, uh, subscription here. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Let's see how this one, uh, how big this iron deposit is. 
if it also goes out here? No, it doesn't. Okay. What about out here? Nope. Okay, so this is the iron side. <laughs> Old iron side. One, two, three. I think that's what we can expect to place here. Number six. All right. So that was a uh, and Paxicum. Thank you for the T1 for 18 months. Thank you. Ooh, it's almost a level one. I am going to try to do something different here. Come on, mining drill. You can do it. And Enrum also with a tier three. Thank you so much for those tier threes. Here, and then we could actually build four if I actually build one and then I get one two three four that's also running out that's not so great uh, let's see so that's a level one train completed remember the usual parts around here if we manage to get to a level five then we add an extra hour to the stream at the end of uh, it so we can continue even longer all oh, right it's not this one it's tech because we actually have 108 tech Woo! Ooh, glorious what do we want uh mining speed don't know more flatten maybe uh, smelting speed that's also expensive we just barely got it biodense fabric density mm -hmm. threshers and planters those are the ones that we need for this level but we don't have it uh hover, hover pack i think i want that and also suit speed sweet um energy accumulator maybe Tales cameron wow thank you for five tier three subs tier three sub is five normal subs uh seven normal subs for me but five normal subs in terms of uh, hype team progression so that's like 25 normal subs gifted just like that what an absolute amazing thing Oof, that's a lot of stuff uh mass collect is awful and that's awful because they don't really work core composer i don't really want that um we'll take uh, that one Bacon, no bacon. Uh, computation. And, and Torkrieg, thank you for the 27 months. All right. This is looking absolutely fantastic. We are closing in on a level four train, the no, three train. All right. So this is bad. I'm going to take... Hmm. This is an attempt at trying to sort of make it make it things a little bit more structured. And then trying to see how that would work in this game. Uh, that is okay. And then I rotate. Rotate. Oh, this way. Ha, huh, cool. That's the outbound. Sweet. And then I need to also have an inbound. Oops. All right, and I need to craft some four. We're really running out of stuff. Not good, not good. There, that should be enough. So one of them pointing the wrong way depends on uh, your definition of the wrong way. Oh, right. No, it doesn't definition uh, define. It, it is just wrong. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I was wrong. So was this one. Here. Here and here. And then I have to do it like a fast outbound. Otherwise, it doesn't work. There. Ah, crap. Ah, all right. The hype train got stuck. I think we can make a level three hype train. Right? We can do that. We can get a level three. There. That should get all of these on this belt. Great. And. Praise the sun. And Anram. Anram, you and uh, Kalmarin are really working hard on this train here. And very much appreciate that. Welcome back. Your oh, we heard that. Is appreciated. 
Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, let me go back and uh, beckon beckon call. Thank you for the prime for three months. Very much appreciated. Oh, why is no one telling me to make a? I'm out of iron. That's not good. Uh, An alpha bull. Thank you for the nine months. Returns. Now we got something here. Welcome home. We got something. Um, let's get this one, and then we have to turn the cranks again. Every five minutes. Every five minutes. Yikes. That sucks. Alright, how about this one? And um, how is this one? Sweet. And are we still working? Yeah, still working here. How about this? Ah. Uh, look at that. Cool. Alright, it's a level three now. Okay, we're uh, we're getting closer. Uh, let's see. So now I want to hook up this part here to the whole network. I want this to be as small as possible. There. So now this whole thing is connected and you can see they're working. Woo! Spinny, spinny. Uh, what are we going to do about this part though? I am just not accustomed to working in a, in a voxel world. It just feels so awkward. So let's see. I'm probably going to get... Oh, they missed it. Damn it. Uh... Yeah. Is that? It kind of blah, 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 blah. that works, kind of. Uh, no, they don't work if they're on power grid. They have to have something to to actually burn here, some fuel. And you can't put anything out. So, do, 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 what do we need now? This one I can just bump up. So, I'm going to build a little smelting column here. How the hell is that going to look? Uh, uh, that's not very cool, honestly. Hmm. All right, two minutes on the train. I'm, I'm going to try... Ow. I'm going to try to see if we can... This is going to be the train tonight. So, uh, so if we can... If we can get something, then let's try. Let's see. I need to have I need to have the fuel on the outside. Oops. So, if you are sitting on a uh, on a sub that needs renewing or wants to be renewed or you want to subscribe to the channel, now is a good time. Um Yeah. There. So that's going to be uh, still the fuel line, and that means I need to build it over here. Our illustrious hey! Bebasaraba, thank you for the 60 months of Prime, and we're 28 subs away from a level 4. That sounds a little bit, uh, let's say, ambitious. Hey. Been surprised before. Ah! No, no, I need you to be uh, accidentally destroyed. Damn, I did destroy the other ones. Why can I not destroy this? Hmm. Thank you, Arthur, for this 13 months. 20 seconds doesn't seem like this is going to be the one. And Zipman, thank you for 200 bit donation. Uh, how the hell do I delete this? Kind I can't have you here. 
Well, anyway, we'll get explosives at some point. All right, so what do I want? I want to have some, and there we go. Thank you for the level three hype train. Uh, Silver Zeal with 200 bits and Cameron with 30 subs. That's a little bit of a difference between the sub sides and... Uh... All right, so here. And this one will be going the other way, because that will eventually be coming in with something else. And then I need to build... I really don't like that I only have this, because it's obviously not fast enough. What are we missing? Uh, copper. All right. Insufficient power things. Uh, and life is risky. Oh, Thank you for the prime. Yourself. Welcome. We are building an army. Oops. Crank. Crank. Uh this one is needs to go out. So I need to make more of this. And I also kind of running out of here. Yeah. yeah. I really need to have it one further up. Sucks. Um, let's see. Kill, kill. So, how do I... This is something I remember from last time was... That was weird. Like, how do I get this to go up? Like this, but... How do I get it to stay up? I mean, it is a problem for many men my age, but that's not exactly what I meant in this case. Sats and soda. So it goes out here. And where do we have copper? Oh, I have copper over here. And I'm also going to get the iron because that will eventually come from the stuff that we're trying to build over there. And then I can get that one. Nope, wrong way. And let's see, so this... I don't... I'm, I'm just acutely lacking structure for this build, but... Um, whatever. That's copper. That's iron. And iron will be going out on this belt. Okay, we have a lot of iron built here. There we go. That's the iron build. I have to, down to 36. So let's get some more. Get it over here. There we go. All right. And that is now a belt of fuel coming in, which I will now be getting into these. And I'm out. Yeah. 
Yay, they're working. Woohoo! I think this is a game where this feels like extremely tedious to set up. But look at the stuff that we built for just this little thing here. How much is already paid off with like an absurd tower here of a uh, tower of science. So, yeah, I think that's it's worth it. But they are just not passing through. They really should be. Okay, now they are... Okay. Um, where is our science? Uh, they're making more belts. Actually, I don't really need more belts. Doesn't matter. Oh, right. Another thing is, like, if I'm handcrafting... It's said that when, when the assembler builds things, it builds twice the output. But does that mean that it actually... Let me just try something. Uh, that's the only thing we need inbound. Okay. Five. I put five in here. It takes three. So three becomes ten. Three becomes five. Okay. So it is actually twice the productivity that is massive don't handcraft in this game <laughs> he said i started the handcrafting <laughs> damn it everything should be stopping handcrafting damn that's crazy uh another issue here is the fact that we are simply not getting this one can't even keep up Ugh. because this belt is not filling up fast enough Anti handcrafting mode, yeah. It's it's, it's crazy. Right. Um uh, there, 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 and I don't know also another thing we don't know is how many smelters does it uh, what is the belt speed? How yeah, we don't know. <laughs> Drops half the items. <laughs> it's, that is clumsy. Now we got one long and uh oh right i think i know why it's not working it's because you simply don't have a long-handed insert uh, okay so it's it's kind of a different problem cool so is anything coming down here nope you're not um why are you not compl what are you complaining about oh right that's because it uh, was polluted before so don't do that there we go there we get this in but about and they go up unfortunately they're just not working because they are hmm. they should be able to put it out fast enough uh, maybe this oh it's just a backlog right it's just a backlog or is it but the input is definitely a problem that is definitely something we want to get from our fast inserter. Fast inserter is something we can't do unless we have the filter. But we um, we didn't even want to go over here. We just wanted to go yeah, somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Is that a thing? Oh, so that's a splitter. I know, I know, I know. It's 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 kind of silly. Feels a little bit weird. Okay, but this is a good way to, to get all the stuff from here filled up. We don't have the same thing for copper yet, but we will eventually. 
Is this the crafting speed issue? Yeah, it is kind of is a crafting speed issue. So let's get you in here so that you can at least get out of the cranks again. All right, time for us to take a little break and then um, move out here. This is something. Oh, it's, it's turning weird out here. Nice. <laughs> because they can't get any further. That's so weird. All right. Um, take a save. I think we made a little nice little progress here. And then we do this one, this one, and this one. Ta -da! It's a factory. Uh, what is with the cranks? You have to do them every five minutes. Yes. I mean, you can have more cranks, but if you if you have batteries, then they will produce. Put stuff into batteries, then after they stop, they'll be taken out of the batteries. It still sucks. And that's because they want to incentivize us to get some better power, which I don't know how to get. But we'll get it. And right now, we're going to go out and do some more exploration. So be back in two minutes. Thank you all for joining. And we're continuing for two more hours. Right, I better get back in here before everyone uh, runs away. And let me get that out. And ah, man, it was so good that we know how to do the um, the game mode here. Excellent. All right, so it's time for us to find a location. So this seems like a little bit of a hint, doesn't it? The fact that it's marking something here. Um, it's probably that thing over there. So uh, let's start munching our way through this. I would have the fuel insertion for the smelter next to the output. That's a really good point. That is a really good point. Yes. Welcome back. Way better idea. Thank you. Loyalty is greatly appreciated. Awesome. Huh. Funny how, how simple a, a thing just... And who was that? Full Metal Medic. Thank you for the Prime for three months. Very much appreciate it. And I'm going to take... Uh, I guess we take all of this out. Oh, uh... There is a mass deconstruct, but I don't even want to use that. It's... Yeah. And then that goes out, that goes out, that goes out, that goes out, that goes out. What are we missing? 
Is it iron we're missing? Are you kidding me? We should have plenty of iron. Yeah, it's like Factorio chasing around, picking stuff up from belts. <clears throat> yeah, and then uh, from here, I need to figure out how to. You're starting to get a nice little collection of research cores, Breaker. I won't forget it. Uh. Eh. Help. Help me. Help me. I'm broken. Ah, fuck. <laughs> This one. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, these still, well, they're not really having that issue because they're still. Oh, why are you not working? Huh. Because you can't output fast enough. Weird. Uh, there. Now that should work. And you can just get that one in, and you can get this one in. Right, so that should work. I wonder how many it takes to fill up the whole belt. Uh, whoops. Ah, uh, the cranks. Okay, what did we want to do? All right, that was the good idea. How much of this game changed since last you played? Well, last time we played, as soon as you made the crank operator, it was just a box that was like checkered. So um, no matter how well, how good a game is, it I can't play a game like that. Um, I can play it for sort of like, oh, okay, cool, I'll play it for a little bit, but it, uh, it it was not sustainable for me to continue to play under those conditions. So it wasn't, it was really a demo. And uh, so now it's, it feels more like a game, <laughs> which is good. Okay, let's see if there's something we need to pick up here. Okay, this looks like, this just looks a little bit like there's something interesting in here, right? The way that there's a, oh, no, it's because there's a, ooh, an iron deposit, nice. But it's definitely this one. So let's go a little bit further and get a little bit closer to it. Yeah, placeholder textures, absolutely. Which is fine, it was a demo. Uh, now it's not a demo, so we expect some more, and there is more. I really like the way that I... Well, we can't get through that. Um, so, what I really like is the gameplay loop. I am a little bit... Just a little bit... Um, reticent, I guess, about about the factory element because of uh, whether that's just going to be really, really tedious to build big and it just kind of seems like it. Ooh, there's something here. Um, so... And therefore I'm... I'm oh, uh, did we even have scanned the blue ones? Silverthorn, those are the ones we want to uh, get for the mission, right? Now this is what the, this area is, or this tech level is named after, Silverthorn something. Um, yeah, so I really like the fact, the, the way that, like, this works. 
like, oh, I get a clue, something out here, but either from the map, looking at the map, or because I've done something and then it says somewhere out here, there's something interesting. And that means we need to go over here, uh, not over here, but over here and figure out if there is a way in here. What does it say? Entrance, offline, repair, required. Uh, uh, but I don't. I don't think that's the issue. I think it's mainly the fact that um, you're you have to place everything yourself. You have to place every inserter, and there's no copy paste function. There's no blueprinting function, and you're standing between the buildings, which means it's really difficult to build stuff. Which means it just takes even longer than satisfactory to build anything, because for example, satisfactory you don't have uh, inserters. And each building now has several inserters going in and out. So, building something like really big, I think it's going to be uh, quite tedious, and that's why I'm worried about. But you know, we'll we'll see. That's the second of those high voltage cables. Door unpowered and secured. Decipher signal by using an assembler to craft and place an unknown number of accumulators. Place? Okay. No? Oh, sorry. Ah, that was the other crank that went out. Ooh. I think this is... A warehouse. I knew that gigantic door was a good sign. Hmm. Scan this place for some basic electrical machines, especially those planters and threshers on the racks, and pick up anything else you can find. What's that? Filter and soda's nice. Um, yeah, that this is pretty nice. Like, okay, so we scanned two out of four of the blue cubes, and if we look at here. I'm imagining since we get basic science, maybe maybe at some point you can see this purple science that we're working on now, and then we'll also have blue science later on. And we now have two out of four. This is a great way, I think, to sort of force you to explore by saying you can't progress to the next tech unless you explore these four locations, because those are essential to get this tech that you need. So it's also sort of a way to to make sure that you when when things are scattered over the map. You need to make sure that you don't do three out of four of the important things and then get a step up the tech ladder and then skip something that was critical and then you struggle with the game and you abandon it and give a bad review all because you didn't know that there was a, a mole or you've been chopping through the the walls with a pickaxe or something like that. So a way to sort of say you have to find these four locations hence you need to research those four things. Next, That's a good idea. Hey, this is our filter inserters. We can now do filter inserters. Great. Three, four. Oof. Data bank entry. Yeah. Good. Uh, what else can we do? What? Oh, a monorail system. I'll take more monorail systems, please. Good evening. Kind of curious what this factory would have done. Post apocalypse. Also, hello. Uh, like what? This particular one or the whole thing? Oh, this is, you know, you know it's going to be there. If I don't do this, then I'll miss the one that actually has something interesting in it. Okay. Hmm. Disappointed. Oh, this particular structure? No, it's a warehouse. These ones are one is looks like it's one is turning inbound and one is turning outbound. So they're basically shoveling things in and out of the boxes here.
No, you can't deconstruct things. You can see, you can inspect them. <laughs> things Lots that are broken, here, you can re we'll you can scan it. Like these things are broken. Take what they needed and get oh. back out there. A cranks and more accumulators. Sweet. No. You can't uh, deconstruct things that are... So these are broken. So you can see I can't interact with them because they're broken. So because they're broken, we can scan them. But things that are not broken, I can interact with them. But I can't scan them and I can't deconstruct them. If you look at the deconstructor, it can't. I think that's a good idea. Be Ooh. Wow. Threshers. Yay, we got the threshers now. Oh, there's more stuff. Sweet. Uh, yes, I can deconstruct stuff I built myself, but I can't deconstruct stuff that um, that is already placed. And I get 100% return from deconstructing, which is good. Oh, there's definitely something here. No? Ah, 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 ah. Aluminium bars. Oh, oh, oh. These are also stuff I can... Hmm. I guess I'm locked in now. Ah. 40 processor units. Okay, that's Passing a little bit expensive. Supply facility access door with I feel I'm too materials. high up. I may be standing on this Therefore, one. Technology required to manufacture. Look through the window breaker. I can literally see the mining charge tech fragment on that table. Oh, we're hovering. What kind of miserable bureaucrat puts high explosives behind a securely locked door? Yeah, I know. We be here if we didn't know what we were doing? Eh. <laughs> I want you to fix that door as soon as possible. I want you to blow things up. Um, maybe I have a clue about why you're now an alien box and not a person anymore. I have a sneaking suspicion you might have blown yourself up. All right. Uh, when we get out again, I'm gonna try that hover hovercraft. My hovercraft is full of eels. Do you have to have it equipped or something? So. That one I don't want. Blech. Where's my hovercraft? There. I'm hovercrafting. Nice. Don't care. Uh, we can just deconstruct it. All right. Goodbye. All right, that was a very, uh, very profitable little endeavor here. Look at all the crap we have. Wow, lots of crap. All right, let's look at the map. Mm, there's some iron here, there's some iron here, that's good. And we have taken this part out, we have this one. And let's see, let's, let's just go back and use the threshers for something. Mm. Up. There you go. Now I'm, I'm flying. Can I not go through this one? That's a lot of coolant I have. Don't know how I got this much coolant. Yay, we found a way out. Uh, hold on. I did remember to see something. Oh, that's some things. Uh, 
Those are the high voltage cable. Sweet, that is. Oh, by the way, that that's a cable. That's pretty crazy, actually. Oh, we got the high voltage cable. It's a pretty massive cable. Um. Okay. There are lights in here. Hmm. I don't know if I should be exploring so far. We do get hints about where to explore, so I think we'll go with those for now. I feel I'm really slow. <laughs> but since I'm nanometer scale, that wouldn't be much. Yeah, you're right. We are kind of nanometer scale. All right. Where does this lead us? Nowhere, it seems. That's... <laughs> look at that. Look how much it's spread. Um, let's see. So, I'd have to go this way around. As much as I want to do that, I don't want to do it. Okay, so now I'm running. Now I'm walking. Running. This way. Yay, back to my base. Right, so we still have a... Whoops. Have a copper issue. Behind the cavern. Oh, okay. Uh, next time you want to spoil it, can you just do like... I think you missed something. And then something. Behind the cavern. Instead of being specific about what it is, because then it kind of takes a little bit of the... Th I didn't say... Spoil okay. Behind the cavern? Behind the cavern is a weird expression. Uh, oh. Was it this one? If everything else is right where we left it, my camp might as well be too. If you were part of my crew, you probably recognize this place. Procedure was to take a portable habitat module into the field. That wasn't for us. So we rigged an assembler to make all this instead. We did everything our own way, but whatever they needed for the expedition, we found. People leave you alone when you get results. Those were good times. At some point, something else started to matter. That part is all a blur. I know we were supposed to go home. Ah, didn't even scan these. I've just been picking them up. Okay, inventory overload. There's no way to drop things, which is really weird. Uh, but I could make... There you go. Now we're not overloaded anymore. Um, okay, I'm, let me give this right. Behind in the small cavern, right next to the entry of your main base... Like... Uh, I don't, un uh, like, really far away or on this little expedition out here. Um, yes, in Glorious Biohazard. Let's see if we can guide me to uh, to it. So, is it in this general area on this expedition or is it, like, way back? Okay, so, it's long ago. A galaxy far, far away. Running, running, running. Uh, actually, now I'm behind my iron mining facility. Weird. Be... Hey, Sea Sky! Thank you for uh, your two months. Welcome back. 
Uh, how is the game? Oh, I'm enjoying it. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't play it. It's not like it's... Uh, by the way, we have like monstrous amount of science. Is there something I'd want? Maybe one of those. Science. There's a lot of things. We want process unit to open the door. Core processor, we don't really need it. Uh, mass erase, mass collect. Uh, it seems really boring. Bacon, I can't do that. Transport. Ooh, suit speed. Oh, I can't do that. Damn it. Uh, tool build. What is that? Oh, more. There you go. That solved that problem. Uh, oh, how could I do that? Didn't it cost 210? Okay, never mind. Well, it was totally worth it. Now I have fast inserters. Craft speed. Mm. Oh, I don't have this. Doesn't matter. I have it now. Pressure. There. Biodense. That would also be nice, but terraforming. Mold speed. Too expensive. Mold flatten. I'll take it. There you go. Inbound. Accumulator. Stores electrical power for delayed distribution. Task inbound. Filter inserters. Must be configured to transfer materials and products of a selected type. Electrical power required. Filter inserters are especially critical for machines like threshers that produce both seeds and plant matter. You might not want to have different things spitting out to the same line or getting pulled into the same machine. And the filter inserter is going to help you with that. There you go. Much cleaner inventory. Task Copper is not Lighter. good. Supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora. Electrical power required. Task inbound. Thresher. Supply with resources to produce a variety of organic goods. Electrical power required. Jetpack. Or oh, hover pack. Okay, so now we need to wake up uh, uh, Inglorious Biohazard. So I'm now back to my start. Go back to base. Mm -hmm. Oh, might actually be something up there. It's. I guess the hovercraft has a certain level. Go straight along your bus. Which way? That way? Oh, towards the waterfall or away from the waterfall? No. Opposite. No opposite. Great. This way, maybe. Yes. No. Yes. And... Let's see where the river is going. Yes. Uh, or that's technically coming from. Oh yeah, there's a compass. Uh, this is the cabin entrance. Unless you mean the other way. No, this doesn't go here. We need to build some copper though. Never mind. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll, we'll go here. Go ahead. So, we're here. The right wall. In here? Ah! That one. That's the bacon. Damn, that was a good spot. Really good spot. I want it. We got the bacon. Bling! Sweet. All right, I need to make copper before we run out. Wow, that was really a good spot. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Let's go back. And I guess it's over here, so let's uh Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, that's not a problem. We still have a lot of copper. Yeah, navigating by text is rough, especially with someone like me at the at the helm. Uh, we are producing more. What about you? You are kind of out. Okay. Oh, I, want, I don't want to make this. I really want this to be automated. Ugh, but I need to focus on one thing at a time. And, and the thing I want to focus on is this. Okay, and should we get some beak? There we go. All right, let's see how big this area is, if we can get something on the side as well. Yay, that's bigger. Hey, this is a big copper area. Great. That's all I know there is, but it doesn't really matter if we're not here. Like, and nothing matters until we have iron and copper supply. Once we have iron and copper supply, I can start automating things, and then I can, after that, I can look into better things. But doesn't make any sense to try and make some water supply or some other uh, fancy tech if I don't have an iron and copper supply steady. So that's why I'm kind of focusing on that first. So yeah, um, yeah. Good. Power floor is up. Not that really needed. And uh, let's see, we have zero miners. Uh, let's deconstruct one, two, three, four, five, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we already have that. Okay, never mind. Um, and inserters, let's get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There, there, there. So I'm. I need to do things in uh, the right order, and my first order of the day here is. Uh, oops. Yeah. Mining drill is to get the a steady supply of iron and copper. There you go. That's one more. And then the last one. Pretty good. It's not great though. If I could get this one. Maybe I'll... Don't know. I don't know how far they can extend. But I don't know, I don't think this is going to work. There, we'll try this. So I'm going to get outbound. Slightly uh, 
cool if it was aligned. Yeah, it would be. So let's try and align it with this one. Uh, that means I'm going to get these floorings. Okay, so I guess we have another answer here, is this belt, three of them can f seem to be able to fill up. Because this one can't exit and uh, output anything. And four of them is enough to take all of it, so. So, guess four is the magic number here. Cool. Uh, why are there yellow dots here, but no yellow dots there? That's odd. Hundred and one more. Um, we've noticed no visual bug in the game with those dots for me. Oh. Okay. So if I just delete a single one. Uh, no, not really. The lights will, oh, the light will turn on. Oh, there's lights. You're supposed to have lights. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> uh, we need a lot more of these uh, things. Uh, let's see, can I just make an assembler for it? Because that's kind of the point of this. So you want to make there. Get that. Mm. And then get another. I'm not really good friends with this hovercraft thing. I think it's full of eels. I think that might be the problem. There. Work. Work. Is it working? No. There. Yeah. Also pretty obviously not fast enough. I think my main problem... Hmm. Oh, if I I think it's if I go over here, it'll basically be I think the hover pack is like you're allowed to float 10 meters above the ground. So if I go out here, it'll fall down. I'm still hovering. But when I then move up, it won't hover back up. So now I'm running. Yeah, I think that's it. I love this idea. It's so silly. Love it. It's a theory of gravity, so I just don't believe in it. Uh, let's see here. I'm also going to need more iron. So this is the only place we have a little bit of iron. It's not a lot. It's actually really not a lot we get here. Uh, didn't I have a little bit of better belts? Uh, these ones? Sure. Is there a way... Can you upgrade belts? Hmm. Or do you have to delete it? Let's see. Oh, uh... Oh, it's already at nine. Have to delete, I guess. Also, this can't be the right way to delete things. Like, I can't drag the deleter. And if I misclick, I delete something. It's, it feels weird. Don't make mistakes. There. 
So now it starts moving. I think I needed that one as well. Like that. Cool. And this. Hey, it works. Ish, right? You're working. Output is full. Sure. It still can't exit. Even with two fast inserters, it's not fast enough. Ugh, inserter speed is a pain in the ass. So, now that you're here, Joey, this is driving me crazy. It's not a cute sound. It's fucking annoying. Ah. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those where I'm like, I, I can't see myself enduring that. Just got here and just driving me crazy. Yeah, it just it needs to go because there's no reason why why there would be a sound associated with this. Like you're literally hiding a menu or not? It's basically like taking your tool forward and back again. Uh, so I don't machines. Is the machines? No, I don't. I... This is also weird. Like the music is at hundred percent and it's not blowing our brains out, which is usually what it is. Because I'd actually like the music to be a little louder than this, but I can't. This setting here is also weird, right? Because there is no way that I can that I can turn up the music compared to the rest. Then I'd have to turn everything down. But then if the whole thing games gets more quiet and it's already like that sound is too loud, but the other sounds are not really. Uh, you just had to point it out. I'm sorry, I'm Fat Dragon. Uh, let's try. Let's try this one to have. One hundred twenty. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. There you go. Doc Otis, thank you for the eight months of a uh, subscribe subscription. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Um, yes, good. All right. We uh, we killed that annoying sound. Good. Your stuff has places to go and machines to meet, Breaker. Keep building those conveyor belts. Mm. Okay. I will do that. Mm. Okay. So now we need to make sure that this actually gets hooked up to the other one. Um. I've been eyeing this game for a while now. Cool, then you get a good chance of having a look here. Uh, let's see, how did I want to do this? I wanted to... Like this, right? So let's just get it as five. One, two, three, four, five. Five is too much though, but we'll do that. Mm. Now... Hey, we can hear the music now. Weird. That's actually weird. That it works like that. Um,
Yeah. And didn't I just figure out that this was not correct? And then I'm taking Ta -da! sweet. And then I will be one, two, three, four, and I'm now missing a fast inserter. Tapping on again, have the Videos on infinite fish farm with candy timing and finally queued up and waiting. Um, I am not sure they all work exactly like they should anymore. So just a heads up. Oh, it's getting a little bit too close to... to that lime deposit if we want it. Still a good starting point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then I'm going to get... It, it's... It's weird. Like this? Yes. And then I can take out... That one beneath and you now go here then i need to get it to mm -hmm. nope this, this thing with belts i I'm 100% sure I'm I'm missing something. I'm I hope cuz I can't I can't figure this out. Like what I mean is like I want to make a belt at tier 2 or at tier 1 and I kind of have to do it this way and then go down and then have it stay on top there. And then I can take the stuff below. Because I can't really see how I can control. What is up here? Uh, that one goes away. There. And there's a red one. Yeah. And then. Insert, 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 insert. And again, insert here. That is definitely not it. Three here. Oof, we're out of everything. What are we out of? Uh, oh, now it's the copper. Uh, good thing we're getting some copper here. Because we are just running out of copper. One. It's not enough. Need more. Resupply runs to starter base. That's a good point. I just want this one to work. But I think that instead of waiting for this one to complete then you're right Boop. and then one more so now this should be working right these are all working i'm wasting a lot of fast inserters but i think that's a 
valuable thing anyway. And then I get copper in nice quantities. How's that one? Good. This one. Oh, okay. Well, you have a little bit of copper here. We a little bit more of that. And the iron is flowing. Good. So we have iron flowing. We have fuel flowing. We have no power. <laughs> Soon I'd like to get power to work a little bit better than this. How's our fuel going? Is it? Oh, it's not actually working very well. There we go. And this is not working very well. And what about you? There's still a little bit here. Good. Oh, um... I don't know. I really don't want to use these, but I also don't really have any other options. Bebrock uh, Galactic Meat Satisfactory. Yeah, but also. Also, fast inserters on fuel. Hmm? Fast inserters, they need. Uh, they, fast inserters don't need fuel, they need uh, power. So they have to be built on a power network. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing for. This that I did for the other one. It's weird. And then. Ah! So that's also running out. Damn. Oops. <laughs> ah. Falling down for my platform because the platform is never t big enough. It'll always be just just exactly what we need and l lacking in all respects anyway. Yeah. Yay. This is not a good place to build it, but Looks good. Looking forward to combat in DSP. Yes, very much so. And we'll be all over that when... Uh, oh, hold on. That does not look right. Why is this one not split? Oh, shh. That was bad. So, you can't have splitters next to each other? That kind of makes sense. Yes, so you can't have splitters next to each other. That, that's a good point. Yay, we have a f fixed copper. Sure, let's get this here. Okay. This is one of those things that I will always be spending way more both focus and effort and resources on than is at all reasonable. Good. Um, I kind of don't want to go back without some fuel. Ah, falling down again. <laughs> Let's crank the cranks. There we go. Why do you stairs when you can fly? Because I can only fly a certain height. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to fall down. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we had like little lights here on our on our way back to our home base look at that welcoming lights add more batteries yeah well i'm coming back i'm coming back yeah i have two remains oh. well there's no way that i can there
That's a nice amount of copper. And they're also broken, obviously. Well, that's not good. Yeah. It'll run for a little bit. <clears throat> we had nothing back here that was at all useful. So one of the other things, uh, this miner work on electric it, uh, it still needs fuel. Miners and miners and smelters need real fuel or like, yeah, fuel to work. Sweet. I'm kind of thinking that maybe there's something up here. We could do an exploration run now that things are sort of working. I don't know what I need to sort for. Like this thresher, swing, thresher thing would be nice as well. Uh, copper ore. I do have two copper ore, but I can't make it because I need a smelter. Uh, your copper merger isn't working and your... Ah, yeah, that's true. My copper merger is not working. Yep, yep, yep. That was one thing. And you and put fast inserters onto the fuel assembler. Uh, yeah. It's these ones, but can I even make? No, I can't make, uh, I can't make any, here. I can't make this because I need unit processor and I can't make unit processor because I need plant matter frame and plant matter frame needs plant fiber and plant fiber is something we don't have, so. No more fast inserters. I have one fast inserter. And let's see, which one do we think is the most? We'll take that one out and then replace it with a fast one. I can also just do a very simple. There we go. And here. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, filter insert. No, I don't think they're faster. All right, we haven't explored anything, so let's let's see. We have nothing here. Um, this one is plant matter, iron ingots, and copper ingots. So it's kind of something. Decipher by crafting an unknown number of process units in an assembler. Can't do that. By play by using an assembler to craft and place an unknown number of accumulators on a power floor. Hmm. Yes, we can do that. Maybe we should actually start by making. Uh, stuff. Hmm. I don't like this box. I think the box should be before it goes into the bus. Yeah. Let's do that. So we'll redo that. There are so many things you'd want to do. Is it is it a good idea or is it just silly, this idea here? Don't fly out there because it, that means we can use this for buzzing. <laughs> look look at me using gen c slang person except i'm using it in distinctly different way i 
Look at all those copper ingots, they're buzzing. Not the same. <laughs> With the wrist. And now I actually know the wrist is a short of for charisma. So that is also a little bit weird, but okay. <laughs> Buzzing makes me feel good. Oh, it does. Um, yeah. Four. And then we have all these. There. And we do the same thing over here. What are you complaining about? You're complaining about... Yeah, they're not working fast enough. Hold on, didn't we have something that was like synthesis faster? Smelting speed. Ah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want smelting speed. I wanted something else. Biodense is also nice. Oh, that's a lot of points. Oh, I don't. Never mind. Uh, crap. Oh, I want the crafting speed. No, that's handcrafting. No. Maybe it's this one. I just thought there was one that also... There was one for smelting speed and there was one for mining speed. Guess not. Increase the speed of all mining. That's the one. Great. So now we're mining faster and by 100 to 108 of base speed. And here it is 120 base speed. I have no idea. No idea what that means. Like combining these two. No idea. Uh, I do have a sneaking suspicion that I shouldn't be building it right next to it, but I should be making it... Uh, little bit further out maybe here yeah okay okay we've got a good amount now So I don't know if I want this these two working. Like that. Yep. Mm, yeah. And here. And then I just need some. Yeah, and. Yeah. Well, they're not really coming in uh, to this yet. If they ever are. Uh, so this belt is not full. And these are. So are we actually reaching the point where fast inserters can't keep up? Maybe? I think this is exactly what has accumulated while we've been working on it. Okay, so it trickles up here, going in, and never going into the last ones. Lovely. What a waste. What about you? Got it. Yeah, I kind of regret this already. Should be like this closer. Why are we not getting All right craft? Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, okay, so that was useless. Yay. Yeah, we'll keep that one. We want one more. 
than we need. Look at energy. Ha, ah, right, energy. You mean like for... Yeah? Got what I have. Uh, we can make the accumulators. Crank. Crank. Right, so... Whoa, I fell down here. Um... Right, what do we want to make and how... I, I guess we could sort of make it... I don't know if this is probably not a great idea, but I, I need to get something going. Uh, so let's make some accumulators. Oh, uh, break time. Yes, break time. Gonna be here. <laughs> that blob up there. We'll be looking at it like this. That looks like it's it's a thing. Cool. So I'll be taking a short break and then I will be back in two minutes and we'll have one more hour and we'll of course also continue tomorrow and the day after with more Tectonica. Also there'll be more on YouTube. Oh, look at that. There's indicators on it. That looks awesome. All right. Be back in a bit. All right, we're back. Welcome, welcome for anyone late arrivals. Look at this, this is so cool. We have a, apparently a, a mode here where we see stuff going on. Like it. Make an energy for water. And you said that an hour ago. I am keenly aware of it. I'm not going to do it until I have my basic production up and running. Back then I said I needed to get copper. Then I needed to get the bus going. And then I would look into new tech. So. It is still not a uh, mystery to me that it exists. I am aware. But I want to make sure that we get this stuff working first. All right. So what am I going to need? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I wonder what that means. Like, oh, three input components. Ah. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of mechanicals. That's seven put one. I'm just kind of wondering if there's a way to. So I'd like to avoid building a million of the partial builds. Like this is the old age old factorial question. Do you have uh, gears on the bus or not? I think generally, yes, it would be a good idea to have these in some of the intermediates on, on the bus, but I don't want to. I want to just make a few more assemblers for it um so if we make this then that's mechanical parts all right so mechanical parts is more iron than copper that means it should be on this side i guess that's kind of um
This will be here. And then another one. Which would be long-handed. And then I guess I'll want... Not sure I like this. And I also don't li like the fact that it's... Alright, so this is one of each. Ooh, good, good stuff. Here. Welcome and home. Here. Casanier, thank you for the 33 months. Is this a game? Uh, he can be baby. I mean, if that's your kink, I'll, uh... I don't know, I, I don't think I'll gladly provide, but, you know. Um... Yeah, how is it? I'm I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think that you'd probably find some things that uh, maybe. Okay, so what I think would happen with you playing this game is that you would go like, it is impossible to play it at the right scale because it takes too long to build anything, and then a week later you'd have built a giant factory anyway. Um, because it it is kind of, and by kind of, I mean extremely slow to build things. Here. So, we are now making inserters. Some go in here. Some go in here eventually. But I'm enjoying it. It has some weird things that are fun. Like, this is a science building. <laughs> Just makes no sense, but I love it. Oh, this one might be actually jammed. No, not yet. We're still putting stuff in here. But it does have a warning. Supply the door with 40 processor units. Yeah, that's not happening. But, ah, damn it. Uh, here, we have a few assemblers. Um, this is going to take a little bit of foreverness. Yeah. Fully addicted to farm simulator. I love the production automation stuff. That's fun. So I'm thinking if I could find some other thing that requires the grid, that would be good. Mm, iron gears. Oh. Belts, perfect. Conveyors, uh, we're going to make that here. And then, yeah. Don't build them on top of each other. I don't like, I, I don't get why they build them on top of each other. Is that like, uh, where are you? There you are. I'm pretty sure this cannot keep up. Because it'll build 10. Yeah, and it's already stuck. Hmm. So I guess. Don't like these builds. They the inserters are too slow. Woohoo! A few. Right, so those are kind of the most important things, I think. Um, there, can I make the filter inserter? Pfft, no. Containers? Don't think I want to make that, because we don't need too many. Copper frame, electrical components, and kindle vine extract. Okay. What else would we want to make? Um, oh, this one. For sure. Uh, that's also going to be a set. So I need copper wire and I need ingots. So now I'm going to make another one here, which will. Okay. Could I find something else that also needs copper wire? And that one I don't care about. What else would I build that would make use copper wire? Like they are so much more effective if I build them in here. Then I get twice as much. This is crazy how 
Like, if it was 20%, I wouldn't consider it. But now it's, ugh, it's too much. What is this? Iron and copper wire. Mm-hmm. What do, we, what do you guys think I would need a lot of? This one I'm going to rebuild. A, well, I actually have it on the other side. Um, I'd like to get this, but it requires electrical wiring. And then it also requires inserters that I just don't have enough of. I could actually let the inserters just flow on this side. Huh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, belt the belts. Yeah, we're building the belts. That's a lot of belts we're actually getting. Okay, it's not really keeping up, but it doesn't really matter. It it's it's doing its best. This is too slow to get in here because it's just relying on bad inserters. I think inserters in this game are too slow. There. They're too slow. They're, they're annoyingly slow. Uh I don't know. I don't know about any of these intermediates. I, I, there are too many intermediates. Built the inserters would be a thing. Making assemblers would be really nice because we're going to need a lot of those. That one is already... I, I did have a mission to make accumulators in an assembler, which means copper frame, electrical components, and Kindle wine in extract. But do I need to build these things? Oh, right, it's the this one. Yeah. There and there. Get that in. Mm -hmm. And then I can take this out. But that's going to be exactly the same problem as we had last time, right? Yeah. Ah. This will also be needing something like this. Here and here. And this will now be making those, and you're going to be making that one. Single long-handed, and two in here, two in here, and then... Like this, I think. This makes eight. Good. How's this one coming along? Um, yeah, we don't have any limestone. There's a limestone deposit over here. Oops. How's the power? Mass arrays. 
composer none of these nothing here haven't found that one haven't found that one conveyor belt is expensive synthetics haven't found that one and mold speed sure whatever that's the only thing we have left good oh i didn't even see how much i have now i have 80 left okay right this seems to be doing stuff right i think that's good stuff is getting made i think now is a good time for us to head out oh wow that's a lot of belts uh yeah and sweet is this stacking up yes it is very much and then here i can put that in and what i can also do is it's a cat Hi. Wow. unfortunately there's no separate camera for there we go <laughs> uh, and and so the question is which one is this <laughs> bio bricks are bricked oh yeah they're bricked yeah that's because we are not uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's all right so let's fix that it's a little bit of a shame that we have to kill the sound because of that annoying uh uh, sound before good so now let's make a yeah mm. smash and let's get some miners Just two? Sure. Or three. There's, there's room for three. And then I will still need to get... There. That one. So we're going to use this to get... Alright, so you're gonna get outbound here. I don't know exactly where you're gonna go. From now on, I just don't really like not building on foundations. Sweet. Ah, nice. Power floors. And now what? Mm. It's over here and it's a bad place, but... I think I'm needing a few of these just to keep the things powered. Yeah. I thought I brought three of these. I did not, I guess. And... This is not working. Like that one from the side is just completely useless. Uh, oops. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh no.
also deconstruct i'm not really sure why this is built like this it really needs some better options for deconstructing or just not making mistakes but that's not really an option well, soon we can go out and search for stuff uh all of this yes you go over here there and then i go Uh, yeah, I need extra of the red ones, and I don't have them. It works. It's a cat cam. Oh, you want the cat cam even for the sleeping cat? Yes. Well, we'll get a, a sleeping cat cam. Okay, so this one is coming in now, and that's something, right? That's something. Um, but that's really not going to be doing a lot of work. So sad we have to wait until the 18th. Yes, I completely agree. Now, even though I get the privilege of playing this earlier than all of you, I still kind of don't like that way of doing it. Uh, yeah. um, I prefer that um, everyone gets the... Uh, like, one day maybe, but the fact that I get a, a week is a little bit too much, in my opinion. Oh, it is... Hold on. This is bad, right? It keeps putting it in here, but it's not making anymore because it's stuck at 80 again, or still. So, where is it? Uh, don't like. I like that extra little thing that where it points to what grid it's actually pointing at. Yeah, yeah. There. No fan of streamer early either. A day or two makes sense, and YouTubers get the. An embargo week to prepare a video or two, but can't publish till the workday. Yes, exactly. But yeah, but this one we have actually been told uh, that we are not allowed. There's some part of it we're not allowed to uh, to show. Oh, here's a problem. I wonder if I can take these out. Okay, so they can't be taken out, which means if I could just make one more, which I cannot. Here's the funny thing. I need these two to stop working. Uh, stop. I need these. They're now stuck inside this one. So here's the funny thing. Uh, let's see, science. I can't make this because I don't have 85. And it's stuck at 80. So I have to manually place 5 additional. Just to build that. But where do I place those? There, that's 5. 
now we're at 85 and I can do the core composer good uh, enables the ability to reassign research cores don't know what that means I'd like to have that but now we can then figure out how to make yeah oof that's expensive Does your upgrade mass arrays not allow mass deconstruction? Um, it does, but I don't want to destroy my uh, my build here, so uh, my ground, my floor. So I want to make another one next to it. I hope that's possible. Here. Balls of shame. <clears throat> You can keep your shameful balls to yourself. It's moving. It's moving. Look, look, it's moving. No, it's not moving anymore. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, pause the camera here over there so we can see the daily substance there. Uh, okay, so it's almost done. That was the all the metal frames, all the iron frames. Now we just have five there and one more and then whoop, final build oh this takes a little bit of forever i guess all right so after this mm, 40 processor units yeah we can't do that decipher east deconstruction build yeah i don't i don't know um i don't i can't make any more science until i build this one so when we have it it's going to be one of those yeah sure let's research it because why not Oh, 50%. Okay, I, yeah. Are we getting, yeah, we are getting a little bit out here. So I'm also kind of thinking we could do here. And I'd have to take you out, you and you, replace you with. Nope, 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 nope. They'll still keep burning this for a little bit. Okay, and almost done. Well, 70%. Three, two, one, nine, eight. What? What does that mean? Didn't you have an extra core place? Nope. I uh, I only had one. I didn't. I only got one. And now we need to build another one next to it. I think, which is coming here, here, uh, there. There we go. It's also just unfortunately going to use a silly amount of extra power. Yeah. Maybe we more need more cranks just for now. And we also have two of these accumulators that we can build. We can place those. Look at that. It's working. We're getting science again. Hmm. Odd. Uh, that needs to go into I don't know where. It's something. And then go back and get more cranks. Uh, let's 
let's build. Damn. There. Great. And let's see. So. I'm just going to kill my power for a little bit. Great to see you build one of those, Breaker. What? But it won't work until you place a crank generator on a power floor connected to it. And don't forget to crank it. That's why we call it a... I'm sorry. You understand. If they're placing cereal, then... They're easy to crank. Okay, there and there. So, power? 3,000. We're getting more. Uh, also, when you look at it, it shows amount of left, left corner bottom. Okay. Uh, when you look at it, I'm looking at it. Horse, 224. Oh, that's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> and it's being built over there. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's use the last 25 minutes of going out and just exploring a little bit. Okay, so there's something in here. Um, okay, so there's limestone and there's copper. We'll see if there's anything worth scanning as well. Other than that, we just casually Click this, and these are from... Oh, there's a thing there. Ah, that's one of the... No, no, that was not a kid. Oh, what is this? This looks like a standard field setup for drilling a new shaft, but there are two problems with it. <laughs> the first problem is that we're at the end of the line. The only thing below here is the core, and the shaft doesn't look like it was cut large enough for freight anyways. The second problem is that nobody asked me first. <laughs> That's a much bigger problem. Why? If whatever they were up to here was bad enough that they thought I would report it, I must have been very wrong or very dangerous. Or both. <laughs> Identified. Zeno material containers. No contents detected. That's interesting. And what is this? Uh, ooh, suit speed two. I want it. Zip. 150. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, hold on. How much speed is it? Suit speed three. 130 speed. Yay. Look at us go. All right. Well, that was a little uh, tidbit about some background. Uh, so interesting. This did not... Oh, you're kidding me. Look at that. There's something down there. Huh. Uh, so this gives me a lot of not right now vibes and not, it doesn't give me, you can get, you can go there vibes, right? If you look at it. There's something on the frame. Did get this one. I think it might have been these if you just saw it sort of switch over. Hmm. Let's make a, 
a crank or two. Red things proper up. What? No, nothing here. This is an iron deposit or copper deposit. Okay, so this didn't do anything. There's nothing. Red things, that's a red thing. That's the only red thing I see here. Xeno materials. Uh... Huh. Also, when you're standing a distance away, it usually shimmers if there's something you can discover. I'm gonna nope that one. Oh, no worries. It's, uh... Because you thought you saw something, so that's fine. We'll see. And inside the waterfall, I guess. Definitely inside the waterfall. There's always loot inside the waterfall, right? Weird that I have to drag up. Counterintuition notice. Stairs cannot conduct electrical power. That was me. I made them put that warning in there. And that was not how I phrased it. <laughs> Wonder how you did phrase it then. Yes, that looks like it's the right place, right? We're heading in the right direction. Okay, so that, see this, I don't really get this when it doesn't work. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. This coolant is quite handy. Uh, still a little ways to go. Yeah, there should be a secret behind a waterfall. I mean, it is a trope, but it's a trope for a reason. See, I don't know where I am on the arrow. I'm in the front of the arrow or the back of the arrow. Weirdly enough, if I then just jump down here. I'm just gonna make a black hole on myself. That's nice. Hey, extra coolant. Sweet. Cool. Worth 
Oh, there's something right below us as well. Maybe... I guess it's weird what is working, what you can't, like... Well, that's probably not what I wanted. Okay, well... Under the waterfall, indeed. Uh, okay, let's try it from a little higher up instead, like here. Protected area. You can chop this. I mean, it also makes sense that you can't go into the rock face because that would force it to change the flow of the water which obviously is not something you'd want to do so this is why this one works um you see some of this here is protected yeah, go back from the other chest yeah i think i need to go a little bit further down And then we make a black hole on top of us. Still need to go significantly deeper. But it's still our best. <laughs> In before that, yeah, yeah. Right, so uh, tomorrow there'll be another YouTube episode. Uh, that's definitely my plan. I do have someone coming over in the morning, so I have to set my alarm clock really early to make sure that I get stuff done. Are we pointing the right way? Yeah. Um, and tomorrow night we'll be continuing streaming here so what you'll see in my episode tomorrow is probably going to be very much what we have just covered today like getting the initial bit of factory going and uh, do a little bit of exploration probably not as much exploration as this but i want to get a bit of factory going in the f in the episode tomorrow otherwise it doesn't really make sense to have it as a factory game what happened Takes me much of Valheim. Yeah. Is that any like protected area warnings? Got it. <laughs> Not particularly valuable. Ooh. That's mmm. Good. So we... Ah, now that tower is also spreading. So we got these two. Yes. Uh, we didn't really go out and explore much, but we'll continue to go out here. We have a 10 minutes left of exploration fun. Funsies. That's limestone deposit. All good. Oh, that's a big build out here. Um, but I think we can go this way. 
All right, that's going to be interesting to see what that is. Scanning stuff. I like the idea here for the scanning. It really works. It really works very well. Because I'm, like, in Satisfactory, I'm not particularly oh, keen on uh, on exploration. But I am actually right, right now. What the hell is that? Well, that just popped. Maybe it's something we can mine. Can I go closer and see what it is? No? Extraterrestrial material detected. Advanced mining drill or upgraded tool required. Alright, good. Or explosives. It never mentions explosives. <laughs> True. Okay, so my guess would be that this is locked behind that. Okay. So, or explosives. Cool. And here's some more alien ore things. Oh, is it? No, that's just normal. Right. Hmm. What the hell? Where where were we before? Oh, we were over there. All right, so we just jumped to the other side. Huh. Looks like the entrance is from here, which is behind our iron mine. Let's uh, run that way instead. Oh, sorry, copper mine. Uh, how's the game? Game I'm I'm enjoying very much. It's it's great to have a game that is, um, like it plays in the way that I want it to play. Ugh, everything is red. Um, and then there's on top of that there's this sense of discovery. So there are some things that even though they're new, I'm kind of familiar with it. Like okay, how do we make a reasonable. Uh, reasonable design here or and what how how would we I'll do other things you suck huh. that sucks a lot that one hmm this needs to be more than one ah I don't have time for this I don't have time for this Ugh. but it's everything that's stalling because of that that's awful all right let's just go over here and do a little bit of discovery This copper is the backside of the copper we were we are we're mining from the other side. So all good. Let's see if we can get anywhere here. Huh. Oh. Oh, it's like this time it's up. Or it's down. I guess this is now same level as that. So if I go in here and turn, then perhaps I can intersect the other location. See, uh, the green bit is up, but the area looks down. Like this part? I should be... Oh, I should be getting up here. Yes. Cool. Uh, 
kind of ruined my chance of getting up there. I think that's just the limestone deposit, but whatever. Um, it is just a limestone deposit, but there could have been something nice up here. All right, so let's go further down. Uh, what? Isn't it continuing? Uh, it's almost continuing this side, right? There. We breached. It's pretty cool, this idea here. Like, it really, they really use it for something interesting. It's not like a gimmick. It's actually feeling a cool sense of discovery ab about this. Atlantrum ore and cooling systems. No. No. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, huh. That's that's a little bit too expensive for us. Maybe we can cheat. Let's see if we can dig out this thing here. Maybe there's a easy entrance. Doubt it, but you know. So there's one thing in here that we want. Huh, maybe from the top. It would actually be really cool if we could get a bigger, oh, is that? No, <laughs> I thought so. Like get a bigger area. Uh, for the uh, this one, but maybe that's just an upgrade later on that can get bigger. So this is one of those things that's super tedious if it doesn't work, but really rewarding if it works. <laughs> and the sense of uh, the, the sense of, of sort of the, I don't know, like the, the value of this time or this uh, that depends entirely upon whether there's, the, what the outcome is. It's a pretty big location here. I wonder what it is, all this. Oh, it's this entire area. Wow. Uh, and if we've dug out this part here. Even getting out is not even easy. Okay, so I'm I'm feeling sort of from a little bit of a metagaming perspective here that this is not something we can just break in. This is something that's there for much later. Oh, we're overflowing. Yeah, at least we got some of that. Um, how do we get out, though? That's probably the same. What was this? Oh, we haven't been there. But that's not going to be today we get there. Hmm. Lantern. Oh yeah, respawn. Ha. <laughs> of course. That's a little bit cheating, but a little bit. Oh yeah, that's why I'm so slow. It's I'm over encumbered. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we definitely need more production of biomass. <clears throat> don't even know how I would get that. Probably mm, 
Yeah, no. Hmm, hmm. Well, Quantity-wise, it's 50 in, so that has to be a close belt. It is 25 in, that's probably also a close belt. And then... Yes. And then 10 out, so that could be on the further belt out. Cool. Well, I think we're... Uh, hmm. I think it's a nice little base we got here. It can do stuff, and we can then go out and... Phew, this is definitely on my to-do list tomorrow. That's a lot. It would be nice if we could uh, limit this. Ah, same as satisfactory, we can't limit. That's really nice. Show the data bank. Bling! That's a lot of stuff here. What do we want to see in the data bank? You're feeling lucky? What? Equipment 75. Oh, that's interesting. Flora 50. Is that only for this area? I wonder. Or is it in total? Don't know. Uh, let's see. So tech wise, we can't really do much, but uh, sort of production wise. So stuff we have for tomorrow is we need to figure out how the threshers and the planters work so we can get this process going because that's also making us making some plant power plant matter frames which is used for processor which is used for fast inserters um so that's one thing the other thing is power we're going to use and figure out how this hydropower works so that's going to be a thing um and then we'll get uh the 40 processor unit we can unlock that door for the explosives which is also something that could unlock other things so it's a lot of interesting things uh, that we can do. Also, we still have this uh, accumulators, accumulator thing that needs to be unlocked. Uh, we don't know how many it is, but something. Crafting an unknown number of processor units in an assembler. Well, that's something we have to do later on. Cool. I uh, I think that this is super fun. This is also like really weird, this part. But hey, I like it. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I hope you are as well. Judging by the views, yes. Um, so if you are new around here and haven't followed my channel, then consider hitting the follow button. We'll be doing a lot more Tectonica in the upcoming days and also probably later uh, further than that. Also my YouTube videos, there is a link to a new video that is uh, getting started on a separate um, Tectonica playthrough. Basically, the way I want to do it is I will be playing, testing things here, and then from now on, I know exactly, well, not exactly, but I can script a better episode two than I could if I hadn't played today. So I can sort of plan out where I want to place things, uh, what I want to do with the bus, or, you know, those kind of things. And then that's going to be basically what, um, what I'll be showing in the next episode. So basically get at least the bus part working here. A little structured maybe even better and uh, maybe a little bit of exploration as well and then we'll see how it goes uh, i want to continue it as a bit of a let's play since there is a pretty good interest on youtube as well and then just yeah well uh, but here i expect that we will be completing it or as much completing it as we can because there is a point where i'm not allowed to play it any further here on uh, on stream or on YouTube until the release date because it's really to the story. So I, I'm sure we have lots of, lots of stuff for to do for the next couple of days without sort of getting into the late game or whatever it is. So thanks everyone. Good night. Take care and stay effective.